Guys, go check out our Patreon where you can get our daily morning show and next week's episode today. Welcome to the Extra Yard. I am Pat McAuliffe. I'm here with Wayne Jetski. How's it going, baby? Uh, Danny and Joe are kind enough to invite us on the show. Wow. So, <laughs> this is um, a good intro. Yeah. We are ready here to answer any questions you may have. Oh, we're polished, we're polished radio professionals. We can, uh, true. I will go ahead and toss uh, the ball to you. You've got oh, a wow. soft <laughs> voice. Yeah, you right? Do. I will uh, toss My voice the ball. completely changes. You're, yeah. you're, you're a very well-spoken man. Thank I'll you. give you that. I, it's, 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 it's nice. I like it. You are also very well spoken, but I do see you on Instagram sometimes. I have an alter. When he's <laughs> drunk, <laughs> when, when he's drunk on Instagram, he's a black guy. Oh yeah, hundred yeah, percent. I, I was just like, yeah, I was like, yo, um, yeah, th- I didn't meet this guy, <laughs> I was, but I want to meet that guy. Like, I want to hang out with both jet skis. No, no, you don't. It's like Wayne no, is the uh, the drunk alter ego. Wayne, right. Wayne Jetski. So Wayne Jetski. Jetski is the is the guy at work who's just cool, you know, cruising. And then when I get drunk, I get a couple Waynes in me. Yeah, yeah. 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 Loudmouth soup. Loudmouth soup. Yeah. Loudmouth soup. What's that? I'm the same. It's it's beer. Okay. Loudmouth soup. Like I'm the that. same when I drink. I don't change. I definitely change. I become like a. I get more sexual. like a 45 year old. You get more black sexual. Man who works the front desk at like a, a building? I basically basically become Ruben. <laughs> you you do become. We Ruben. have we have this man Ruben who used to be the doorman at our old office at Barstool and he would not hold the door open for anybody it's refused a gem. Um, he was an ex-crackhead and was ex. like a Rucker Park legend apparently ex. they called him Windex and we used to, we decided to bring this man on radio because why not hear his crackhead stories so he's kind of like my <laughs> alter ego um, when I get drunk you so, cha- you channel so that's who this guy is <laughs> <laughs> when he gets drunk yeah. so he's, he's Windex yeah, yeah. He goes, so that. when I drink I turn into a crackhead from Harlem <laughs> yeah. who had a job at a front desk <laughs> I love that I love that I wanted to ask real quick before we get obviously discussing on the show. Um, how'd you guys meet, and also how'd you guys end up hooking up with Barstool? We met. Um, I ended up hooking up through Barstool. I'd followed it forever because I am from Massachusetts, so I just wrote a bunch of sample blogs, and eventually Dave was like, "Okay, you can work here." When was that? Probably like two years ago. Oh. And so I had actually sent in like an initial pack. I hated my fucking job at VH1. Hated my boss. It was the worst thing ever. So I sent in a package, like a letter being like, okay, I'm going to send you a blog every day. Um, Here's my plan. I want to be, you know, the gay blogger, blah, blah, blah. And people send in samples all the time, but don't follow up. So I sent in probably like a good, like 75, 80 blogs. One every day, you know, three, 400 words. Eventually I get an email back from Feidelberg being like, what's your deal? (laughs) <laughs> and I was like, okay, someone's reading. Yeah. So I told him my deal, write a few more blogs. Probably about a month goes by, Dave emails me back. He's like, all right, let's start this up. It's like, start this up. I was like, does this mean I work here? He's like, yeah. I was like, so should I quit my job? He was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, are you going to pay me? And, uh, I was like, all right, well, I'm just going to start coming into the office. He's like, that's fine. And so that's how I, and so that's how it started. And then probably like, uh, probably, I don't know when you came on after that. I had been there, so we didn't have a radio station when I first started there. And yeah. And then I think it was, it was Cinco de Mayo was in my first In the old date. office, right? In the old office. And I remember it was a big deal when we got like booked to do like six hours worth of programming, which was like, and we provided 12, which is a whole other story. And so we had a radio show and then I think Jetsy came in as an intern. I came in in the fall of, <clears throat> excuse me, 2017. I had like applied to be an intern the summer before because I was running like a music blog when I was in school in Jersey. Um, got a little bit of traction on it. Came in for an interview with Caleb and Roan. Didn't get the job. And then I was just like fucking teaching like underprivileged kids in Bayshore math at an after school program in the Y. Yeah, I've, and, done, I've done those. Yeah. And yeah. then somehow my student. number kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Both actually. Yeah. 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 And then my number kind of just got... I guess passed along to a friend of a friend who knew someone who was actually employed at Barstool and they called me, uh, the former chief of staff called me and asked me if I wanted to be an intern for the office manager and I was like, yeah, I'll do whatever. So I came in and I was doing who a very- Who was that? Brett, Ma- uh, Brett Merriman, Brett office Merriman. manager, Brett, RIP. Uh, he's no longer with, uh, with Barstool, he died. No, he didn't. He just moved to Austin. He just, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know how to go. Which is, with which is yeah. like dying. Yeah, yeah, it is like dying. Yeah, dying going to heaven. I hear. Austin but then you got brought on and it took a while and then I actually, 
saved Jetski by giving him a job on our radio show. He did. Look which at that. He you got is, one of those too, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah which yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. if he's grateful for, but I'd love to kind of hear a thank you now. No, I'm definitely, <laughs> I'm definitely, I'm definitely like, very grateful for it. Because okay, beforehand, cool. I was just like booking people's flights, like stocking shelves, doing all the bitch work. I had to clean out the fucking Barstool RV that all these savages took on the college tour and just shit incessantly and never dumped the uh, the fucking shit out of the, the, the what's it called? The sewer, sewage Yeah, system. you were a bitch until I, was I rescued the you. ultimate, like... <laughs> Be bitch, like be worker. I, I just did a bunch of bitch work and then I finally kind of got involved with the radio show. We decided we wanted to start doing video. I started kind of teaching myself on the fly how to edit video and then I got Pat's good. Enough. Pat saved your I'm, life. I'm waiting for a thank you. Joe saved my I need Don't a thank you. Uh, Joe thank you, Pat. You saved my life. Thank Joe you. saved my life. I, I, did he? Yeah, for sure. 100%. I'm not even kidding. I remember so, you from Vine. That's how. That's how I yeah, first got. You. Yeah, I remember you. We, did you ever work at like Sodexo or like a? Like a yeah, I did. Hall? I remember I did. the the workers at my college were Sodexo. I was like, is this guy work at a dining hall and he's making these freestyle raps? Yeah, <laughs> you were a. No, 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 you were a food service. No, what I did, what making I making raps about titties. <laughs> yeah, stirring no. the fucking. Mac he was and teaching. Titties. He was. Oh. <laughs> he was teaching kids how to swim. Children how to swim while singing about nipples. Yeah, so that's yeah. Ooh. Then I got fired from a camp because of the that. titties. Yeah, because of titties. Yeah, and then I got a job at Sodexo driving uh, some pretty savage children from their classes. Oh so like God. I was a Sodexo driver, and it was so bad that Sodexo reached out to my job and told me to stop wearing this stuff in the video, so they're gonna fire. <laughs> yeah, because I saw you it was a titty wrap with yeah. a fucking Sodexo hat. You yeah. were a you were a <laughs> you were a cocaine addicted Sodexo driver. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. former and, a cocaine addicted. <laughs> Rapping swim instructor turns the deck to I mean, it clearly was, the hiring process over there needs yeah. some work. Right. So Joe, Joe, like, uh, Joe brought me in to do some stuff in the office, and uh, he was obviously he saw like a bigger picture with me, but he's like, you yeah. know, I gotta see if I can trust this guy to like, you know, be a person. You Which know. you couldn't. It wouldn't. It no. was not even. That's yeah. completely false. Well, we, well, you got to really think about it. We didn't really know each other that well. I you didn't just think you were gonna like steal from me. No, or no, no. Shit. But like, it's like, yo, can he perform? Like, can he not, like sexually and then on camera? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you need that. And I was like, you know, uh, <laughs> Joe got me. And Joe got drunk one night, and he basically just told me I'm I'm a fucking loser. <laughs> what are you talking? He about? loves telling this story <laughs> in an exaggerated form. Yeah. It's very what do you mean? But I basically told him like that. I told him I was like, "Yo, you have a lot of talent, but you don't do anything with it." Like, right. It's like ridiculous. Yeah. Really, really hit me. In, so it was in tough love. You weren't calling him a loser. Yeah, it wasn't no, like, "Yo, no, you're no, a no. fucking loser, dog." It's <laughs> like, now go get the XLR cables, <laughs> you bitch. Yeah, no, but uh, <laughs> you know. And uh, long story short, I'm here now, so you gave me a shot. So I have no problem saying Joe saved my life. When you <laughs> first got now. when you first got brought, yeah, see you're Rolex. Yeah, I'm, I'm the Rolex. Rich. How rich much now? money does Joe pay you? Very good. Really? Yeah. Very well. We looked up. We were trying to figure out how much money you guys made, but we couldn't. Yeah. Well, my net worth Wait, is Wait, how do you wrong. look that up? What I would love it? to know that. What was the website? Social Blade. Oh, Social, Social Blade. Blade. Yeah, yeah, but you know yeah, the yeah. problem with Social Blade? It's a range. It's, like, it's always a range. It's, it's like, like, all right, it's either $18 or $400 million. Right. <laughs> exactly. like, I don't fucking know. The dude. last I checked, my net worth was, what was it? T between 2 and $5 million. That's awesome. Which is I higher think. than my net worth, which is three hundred thousand. Yeah. yeah, he just embezzles I've, you, and then it gets recorded. I if you go, if you go to, if you go online, Wikipedia, my Wikipedia net worth is three hundred thousand, and his is two million. Yeah, so I'm paying him really well. So, <laughs> I, so I, I, I think, I'm in the hole. Or they just like looked at my Instagram and thought I made a lot more money than possible. But but I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm my head's above water. Very good. How are they treating you over at Barstool? We're we're both hundred airs. Hundred airs. Yeah. There you go. Oh, I'm dressed Sell like someone who like defected from the Santa's workshop to like sell Roxy. So I'm not too great. But yeah, no, that's nah, fine. We got treated fine. It's a bar stool is good. It's all about the more you bring to them, the more they give to you. So, how which is be. how exactly how it should be. People, what, do you, what do you mean by like that? Like people, if you have ad deals and you have a big following and you have a product like a podcast or a video series that attracts ad deals. That reflects in arrays, that reflects in bonuses, nice. which I don't have any of. Are you going to try? <laughs> so, yeah. so we're I poor hear, as fuck. I no hear wonder that's you came on the works. show today. You're going to try and get us to go yeah, over there. Right, I, I, I hear that's how it works. Yeah. So. Oh, I see what's going on. So there's here. a little inside in, insider trading. So, you guys hire? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, man. That's oh, awesome, fuck. though. That's awesome. I mean, Barcelona's been around forever. Yeah. Um, like you said, you came in as the gay blogger. Um, they can't really call you gay anymore, right? They can. I mean, it's, like le legally, no, can but they like call publicly, you gay? they can't be like, "Oh, this is the gay guy," because then it's like, "Hey, man, he's more than gay." I feel like most I mean, people say Pat. Some people have abbreviated and called instead of gay Pat called you Gat, which is pretty cool. GP, GP is cool. GP's fire. Yeah, GP is fire. fire. Like 
Pornoy will call me gay Pat. I'm fine with that. Yeah, he gets Guy who signs my checks, you can call me whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Faggot Pat. You can call me whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Thanks, boss. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks Love so you, much. Dave. <laughs> yeah. No. But, um, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking bother me. Everyone calls me Pat now. Yeah. It bothered me a little at first, but then I was like, whatever. If I can fucking get paid, fine. Yeah. So we, you, you selling had a, yourself. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I so I basically give up my dignity <laughs> for, for paycheck. You got to yeah. give up a little bit. Yeah. You exactly. always got to give up a little bit of dignity. Right, Jasky? Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have, have you guys <laughs> ever fought? Not physically, but like argument. Oh. Oh yeah. We've had some spats. God, yeah. have we fought? Really, Bad. things reached. A, <laughs> I'm reached actually a glad you brought this up. Reached a tipping yeah. point in like November, but we're, we've definitely gotten past it. But it was just like a. It was like don't downplay it. It was bad. Yeah, it was bad. It's bad. It was bad. Like was it like jet November? Skis? Like did jet ski like my problem with say jet ski. something you shouldn't have said? No, it's no, never, no, never no, been that. Because no, like, then I was gonna be like no. jet ski, man. My problem with jet ski, it he was like can't go at oh. my king like that. That's my dude. Right there. <laughs> no, I would no, I would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No hate crimes. No hate crimes are committed. Yeah, yeah, definitely yeah, not. yeah, no, definitely yeah. Not. No. I'm it, not trying to incriminate you. I'm just saying it's a we don't want to. <laughs> we yeah. don't want to bring up. I kind of do want to bring it up. Bring it up. Let's go. But the thing that about jet ski that bugged me so fucking much, it was just little things like getting poor time management skills. That's the understatement of the fucking decade. The little thing, and you can tell me if I'm being an idiot, getting videos done on time, showing up on time, like realizing... Oh, wow. It's crazy that you're saying all this isn't stuff. Isn't this wild? Like if you say something is going to be done... Right. I agree. 10 minutes before it's supposed to be done, don't say, oh, I need another fucking whatever, whatever. My thing was, I and I realized now that I was focusing on the wrong things and I should have been focused... Is this a mirror? Yeah, I should have yeah. been focusing more on big picture because it got to be a little bit of like micromanaging. Yeah. But I should. <coughs> but <clears throat> Joe, where was I going? What did I just say? You I were was, saying that he wouldn't get the stuff done and you kind of reached a boiling point, I guess. Right. And then eventually, like, it one, no, that, no, and then eventually it reached a boiling point. Eventually, we were in the control room one morning <laughs> and this poor fucking producer from Sirius was filling in who doesn't really know us. And I was being so passive aggressive. I was sitting there, I was swiping through our Instagram, jet skis on the other side. I'm like, oh, yeah, video didn't get up. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking through my god, look at this one. This one's late. Jetsy's like, I'm not gonna do it with you. I'm not gonna do it today. And then we just fucking started screaming at each other. Willie and Large looking at us through the glass. And then like Jetsky called a meeting. We went into the back room. We had a meeting and we basically just screamed at each other. And then it was awkward for like well until now. Who can- <laughs> <laughs> until now? Yeah. yeah. Have you guys like yeah. apologized? No, yeah, we've yeah, definitely, we've definitely quelled it. It was just like it's it's difficult. I'm sure you guys know, like with editing videos and stuff. You, it's sometimes if you have a, a time. Oh, I, I'm speaking your language. Yeah, buddy. if you have like a to, a deadline for something and it's a, it's a creative thing, you can't necessarily always adhere to it strictly because it's like if this thing isn't good right now, I can't put it out at like at, at 12:30 if it's not looking the way I want it to look. And you can't always just be like I have to edit this faster. It's just it's I don't know. It's a weird balance with 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 creative work in my, in my opinion. You know. You know. But so, I, this was the first week. Since I started here, that I was on time every day. Two years he's been working. Here. I'm on, on time, time to work or with like a video. No, no like on, on time, time to just showing up. Just, <laughs> hey. I'm habitually late to, late to life, but I'm also I think the last two months I've been better. So I probably would come in the sh- the show starts at like seven. I would a lot of times I'd mosey in around like seven fifteen. I'm getting heated. Seven, just, seven, <laughs> just seven, thinking yeah, about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Just thinking about it right now. Yeah. Oh man, go but, on. But then again, like I'm there a lot of times, like really late at night. So I'm like. I, I rationalize myself like, oh, I'll yeah. put the time back in. I'll put the time back in. Right, you know? I, I, it's, dude, it's, me too. I do that shit no, all the time. But the things that would piss me off, it would be like a video would be late, and I'd like go to walk to his desk, and he'd be at the fucking gym in the middle of the day. Like yeah. the only editor who goes to the gym in the middle of the day in a video. I'm yeah, like, I have the I'm best like, body how, of all how the editors. You do have the best body of yeah. all the editors. <laughs> so that that I can appreciate that. Believe me. But it's like, what is the fuck is going on? I would never leave if a video had to be up and I was like time crunch. I would never be like, ah, right, fuck this, going to the gym. I, I promise you that never happened. Pat just looks hot as shit. No, right we're now. fine. We're fine. No, but in a good We've way. Made... In a good way. In a oh, good like way. you know what I would get from, yeah. from from yeah, yeah, yeah. Danny. <laughs> from Danny, I would just get like, like he would have to be in at nine, and then it'd be like ten fifteen. He'd be like, <laughs> and he go, my alarm didn't go off, and I'm like, <laughs> and and that would happen multiple times in a week, and I'd be like, all right, well. This, you're fucking. You're this, iPhones. Wait, I, I'm like, iPhones get, don't fail. Yeah, I know. That's what he says. My alarm didn't go off. I'm like, how is that possible? Well, not possible. I sometimes yeah, accidentally. I'm a big snooze guy, so I'll snooze like seven times, and I'll accidentally just hit the alarm off, and then I'll wake up, and it'll be like fucking twenty. I'm be twenty minutes late. I'm like, holy shit! And then you yeah. think your your whole world's coming. What's to the latest yeah. you've been to work? 
Well, one time I this, got you smashed. He no, he just hasn't shown up. Well, that's because okay, <laughs> that would be I, days. It'll be, and this was like after we had our big blow up. Like I'm gonna be on time. I'm gonna be on time, and then he just doesn't show up. That's <laughs> not true. That's <laughs> not true. I'm guilty that's of that too. But listen, we're no, it is true. It's fine. It's no time because I didn't show up one time, and it was because I drank too much Nyquil, and I just didn't go through my alarm, and I slept from like. 10 30 to 12 and my girlfriend who works at the at barca with us like was banging on my door at 12 she thought i was dead and i opened the door and she like was bawling her eyes out grabbing me like we thought you died no one knew what happened and oh I was we like, did think he died yeah. is it? so that was the one time i didn't show Damn, up dude. all right and i go serious yeah i drank a lot of it and i was also dr like, i drank alcohol and yeah, drank alcohol. so that's what made you sleep <laughs> yeah <laughs> See, i learned. can't even yeah. blame it on anything now now it's just pure laziness yeah. like i used to be able to blame it on drugs and alcohol and now it's just kind of like yeah, my bad. I've always, I've always been too embarrassed to blame it on. The best it alcohol. would it would just be like, it would be like ten thirty, and I'm like, our kid's not answering my text. And we could be like, yo, my bad, my alarm didn't go off. And then I see on his story that he posted at like four thirty a.m. and I'm like, well, maybe <laughs> if you fucking weren't up watching random cringe compilations on YouTube, watching live leak, trying to see people getting their heads shot. Yeah, off. you yeah. know what I'm saying. See the bomb go off at four a.m. then. I'm 2020. Guilty. I'm, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. But listen, me and you are very similar. Yeah, I feel the same. Like type A, type B, type A, type B. So <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. it makes sense. I can even I tell because when Joe walked in with the XLR cable, he meant business. He was like, "Were yeah, you he fucking have it?" And he was like, <laughs> yeah. Were you? <laughs> were you mad that Danny? Why didn't you make Danny go get the cable? Did you think? He I I, I wasn't mad at all about the XLR cable because like oh. we, we all didn't know, know where, where it was. Like, oh, I was right. like, and I, I knew that you guys were coming. Up. Yeah, I knew that you guys were coming, so I was like, I'm just gonna go get one because like whatever, you know. All right. Might as well. I, I don't think we've ever had an argument that I wasn't very. I'm very receptive to criticism because I'll know when I did something wrong. Which is in a way a little worse because whenever I'm like, "Yo, this, this, and this, and this," I have a problem with, and he goes, "Yeah, you're absolutely right," and then nothing happens. <laughs> after that. I'm just like, "All right, well, fucking," you know what I'm saying? Do you but, give notes on videos, or you just let whoever edits it? Edit? Well, with podcasts, there's no notes because we don't edit anything. And we you just, just fucking you, do you it. just cut a promo for the podcast and then you just put it out, right? What? Don't you just cut like a promo like this? No, we just we do the podcast, and then the other kid that was here also works here. He cuts the he clips. Cuts the uh, clips. Cuts the clips. Got yeah, it, so got he it, walks it, it, and he watch walks. He fucking watches it and then cuts like the best parts out. And got shit. you. So yeah. when it comes to Barstool Breakfast, right? Are you the alpha of the Barstool Breakfast crew? The dom? Yeah. Are you the dom? Control room dom or or just everyone have, dom? All, all dom. I would say Willie's definitely the dom. The all encompassing Willie's dom. A dom He's the Dom or the Alpha. I don't know. If we, I, don't, I feel weird calling Wolfie. Wolfie. Willie's Willie a Dom. Dom. <sighs> Willie's an Alpha. You would yeah, think so. Willie's probably the Alpha Dom. I'm the Dom of the control room. Okay. okay. I'm the Alpha of the control room, but I don't have the power to be the Alpha of the, the whole fucking thing. Shebang. Right. He wants to. You want that. You want He that. wants it. Oh, bad. No, he wants <laughs> it real bad. Oh, bad. Yeah. Because we all, every single person on Barstool Breakfast has a type A personality. Me, Willie, Large, Jetsy. No, I'm, I'm, I'm very too much Type B. Type B is like disorganized, like kind of just goes off off a whim. All right, everyone. Be yeah, I'm B -ish. I'm B -ish shit. I'm but I like shit. I go back yeah. and forth because I'm I. There are so many times where I am Type B and like it gets me like frustrated. So I'm like, oh my god. So I go right. I go back to A and I'm like trying to be that. And then we have consistent B who I'm like when I'm trying so hard not to to fall into that because it was a, a long time like when he first started work when we were working together that. Like sh we were just doing like the bare minimum and like pretending we were getting a lot done and like right. we weren't. And we were you gotta fucking be honest around more. with yourself. How long yeah. have you been working together? Two, Two years. years. Oh, so it's been that. a while. And yeah. you found him online. Yeah. <laughs> and then you just built him up basically like through your brand to help build his brand. Well, yeah. I I knew I knew of him through Vine, and then he had come in to do a, a spot on a podcast that I was like producing at the time, and then we just like became good friends through that. And that and then I needed like I was like oh if I want to take this to the next level like I'm gonna need an editor to help me like do all this stuff because like we're dealing with hours of footage and I, and I was also doing like weekly YouTube videos and like a, another podcast so it was just a lot so I was like I'm gonna have an editor come in but I don't want to pay some fucking random person right I'd rather like because editing a podcast isn't hard you don't need to be like it's the easiest thing in the world yeah it's yeah. literally just like whatever. it's just tedious it's just it's time consuming it takes yeah. exactly it's, it sucks yeah. editing yeah. a podcast yeah it's trash I tried to do it because we we I were backlogging all these episodes that we're doing with guests and shit so I tried doing one and I, was, and I got like 35 minutes in I was like I can't even do this anymore yeah it's the worst thing in and the you world. just hate the people who, in, who are talking yeah, I'm like, about fuck yeah. you fuck you I don't you. want to hear your voice anymore I zoom, I zoom right through that shit now because I've done it like probably close to 100 times yeah probably but so I, like you know, so it's like I'll do that shit real fast. Like a half an hour, I could do like 
in 45 minutes. It used to take me two hours to do a half an yeah. hour. That's how it was when I started too. And then I just gave it to jet ski. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we just canceled the whole thing. <laughs> and then, and then eventually you build that up and then yeah. he fucking dishes it to somebody else, which exactly. is, you know, but then I was just like, so undeniable. That he had to put me on the show. Undeniable. Undeniable. Oh, you got you got brought on as an editor. So yeah, I brought him yeah. on as an editor, uh, just to edit the shows and whatnot. Oh, and yeah. then when I we would do, he would do spots with me. Uh, <laughs> he would do spots with me like every so often when I didn't have a guest or whatever. Because at the time I was just like, yeah, we'll just get this person or one of my friends or whatever. And then I was noticing that the episodes that me and him were doing, like it just felt way more fun and a completely different thing than the podcast I was actually doing. And then eventually I was just like, fuck it, we're just gonna do us, and that's it. There you go. So. And here you are. How many have you guys done together to this to this day? Or was the first basement yard you two together? No, it was him. No, okay. I did it. I, I started doing it in like 2015. Yeah, like a while ago. And then uh, I think we've done maybe like 50, 60. No, we've done like we started around 156. So like yeah, so like sixty, seventy, yeah, sixty, seven episodes, yeah. So you did a hundred, you did hundred and fifty, like with basically just bringing on random guests and, and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, or some I would do by myself too. And what would that like uh, run down be? <sighs> you like? Just talk. Yeah, dude. You just Tim Dillon it. Yeah, yeah, basically. Or like at the time it was Bill Burr, and I was just like, all right. And I can even if I go back and listen to old episodes where I'm by myself, I sound like Bill Burr because yeah. I was just like trying to emulate this person right. that, I, that I looked up to, and and then I would just do it myself. But a lot of the times I would try to get like one of my friends or like my brother to be on it just so I had someone to bounce shit off yeah, of. Yeah. But there was a lot of times that like there was no one available and I was like, all right, fuck it. Or so, it would be like so an hour. Yeah. 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 This is tough. All right, we're don't. recording. I'm here by myself. Yeah. yeah. It was like an it's hour crazy. before it had to go out too and I'd be like, all right, turn the mic on. I got to do some shit. You just talk? Yeah, it was fucked. I think that's one of the hardest things to do. It's insanely hard. Yeah. Look at like what Francesa and like all these, well, I mean, he's like a weird example, but like yeah. even like fucking Clancy at work, like sometimes he'll just do two hours of radio alone. Yeah, it's insane. like who are you talking? To? It's insane to be able to just do stream of consciousness. Tim Dillon, yeah, myself, yeah. Tim Dillon, we had we actually he's we had him on the show. Yeah, I've known Tim Dillon for a while. He's hilarious. He's, Big he's, the, fu- he's the funniest guy in the world. Yeah, yeah he's a funny dude. I, yeah. I remember because I was working at Elite Daily and I had to uh, I was doing this series for them that I was producing and it was like green screen, basically like guy code for millennial bullshit. Um, and Tim was one of the people that like his name was on my desk of like, cause I had to go through all these New York city comedians and like pick out the best ones. And then right. those are the ones. So like Tim was like the funniest one that I could remember. And then I was like, Oh shit. Like whatever. And we just became good, good friends through that. Um, but when he was on, he was actually telling me, he's like, hated everyone at Barstool except you, a uh, Barstool at, at Elite Daily except you. And I was like, <laughs> all right. He's honest. Yeah. He's fucking great, and yeah. he's like he's blowing up so much too. Yeah, man. Yeah, he's he's doing. You do thing. Rogan a couple times. You're gonna Tim's one of those people though. Like I felt like I I always felt like Tim is like people who are just undeniably funny. Like they're gonna find right. their way, you know. Look, and that's why everyone loves Tim because it's like he's so funny that he deserves to be like like I have a really big audience and he doesn't yet. Right. So everyone's like rooting for him, you know. What and I mean? there's so many like comedians online that comedians online yeah. people who people who get laughs because they know you're supposed to laugh at them yeah. you know what i mean and then there are other people comedians like tim dillon who it's just like that guttural just like laughter that's so genuine yeah yeah, yeah it's for it's for sure like, so wait, I, yeah i see what you're saying the, the show the barstool breakfast show that you guys do you was that like your idea to be like oh we're gonna do like a morning show at 7 a.m or like was there a no, slot was, dedicated to that there was a slot so they had to fill out like morning drive afternoon drive and then i found out they were doing that and i was like i want to produce this and they were like okay and then you just picked everyone no so there was like a big like audition process we onboarded our talent we onboarded willie this girl julie stewart binks who got fired francis who got fired and then large eventually came on and now this new kid brandon yeah but there when we first staffed up the radio station it was a process like there were eight there was Erica and Dave are having meetings with agents. Who do we who do we right. pick? They're trying to like craft the image because you want a show that's not super structured. You don't have to feel like ESPN or any of these yeah. other stations, but you also want to stay true to the brand. So it was, a, it was a weird like balancing act. But we I thought we hit the lottery with the people we have on our show. Yeah, for sure. And as like a, I was a Jet fan growing up, and this guy that I watched like on TV every weekend is like right. now my I'm like his boy kind of it's kind of it's it's yeah. kind of cool and large is great too large is the man yeah, they kind of have a cool dynamic uh it when francis got fired it was it seemed like everything was up in the air for a second i was like oh my god fuck what's going on with this show but they kind of seemed yeah. to uh recover from it so it's cool i mean it's tough getting up in the morning but uh i don't know we get to 
have interesting guests. We had fucking and you're like Schultz kind of a, a bunch you're, of times. you're like kind of like a on a, a team within a team. Yeah, exactly. Right. So it's like you get to like rep your own shit, which right. is like kind of dope. I like that a lot. And like it's, it's not, a great dynamic because you get to it's good team building. Yeah, like right yeah. now I'm rocking Za. We have our little African midget who works with us, Za. Yeah, he, yeah. Uh, he made this shirt yeah. for the. Um, we have for, an African. There was cyclones in Africa, so he made this for the uh, for the cyclones and to save the elephants. So I'm just like, that. Elephant merch. Uh, elephants are my favorite animal. Really? Yes. That's yeah. actually Za's spirit animal, but he killed one once. And he said it's like a it's it's his talisman or, or something you, like that. How do you kill an elephant? It was on like a spell, a, a not a safari hunt. Uh, there, he called it an animal control case where these elephants were like trampling all the crops in his village. So they sent all the men in the village to hunt this elephant, and they killed it. And 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 him. Well, he shot at. It. I don't know if he killed it. He he shot cast at the spell. He cast yeah, a spell. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know with how high gun? that shot. Well, yeah, they, they killed it with a gun. They gave him a gun. They, I think from what he said, <laughs> that's adorable. <laughs> yeah, but uh, him, they <laughs> give him an <laughs> RPG. He's just holding, holding a musket that's six feet tall. Yeah, right. It's like, shoot this musket. Uh, this musket. How long that's has he been crazy. living in America? Um, I want to say he. So he went to. He's rich in. Uh, in Zimbabwe, he's like Zimbabwean royalty apparently, which means you you family makes like fucking seventy thousand dollars, but it's seven, seven, <laughs> right, seventeen right. million. I think we're all, in Zimbabwe. I mean, we're all rich in Zimbabwe. We're all rich yeah. in Zimbabwe. But uh, he went to school in Tampa, uh, University of Tampa. University of Tampa. He has a master's in finance, and he just called. He was a Barstool fan. Just called up Bar, uh, Barstool Radio one day because there was a caller that said that there's no black fans of Barstool, and he called in and said, "No, there's black fans. I'm a I'm a I'm a black man from Zimbabwe." And Dave was like, "There's no way you're black from Africa." Listening to the show, so Dave flew him in and gave him a job and told him to come <laughs> on the show and prove it. Card. And then he shows up to the office and he's this black African midget. He jumped up on a table and started roasting everyone that he thought wasn't funny or didn't uh, do their job good enough. And Dave hired him, and he's look been that. there. Look at I that. guess good for, for the last three years. Good for him. Yeah, Damn, sorry. dude, that is quite the resume right? there. Badass. Yeah. So you just have to be a freak to get hired at Barstool. Yeah, yeah. you have to have an. You have to be like deformed, like Mantis. Like a midget. <laughs> you know who Mantis is? Yeah. The guy who came with the backwards body? Yeah. yeah. His Love body's He put his body on backwards. He's fucking wet from three, though. He's got a sick jumper. Really? Yeah. I yeah, hate... Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we've talked yep. about this. Yeah, we have. All right. Uh, he's figuring out a way to word it in a way that's not going to, like, hurt him. <laughs> All right. So here's the thing, right? So, like, listen. You, we, Just we, say it. So we... We remember that kid back in the day that was like, I got hot as a pistol and like hit all those threes. <laughs> oh, yeah, you remember that kid? Yeah, so there was like this yes. kid who he, he was special needs kid, he has some stuff, some and he was like a team manager. SM, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so they put him in the game, starts banging threes. Yeah. So he airballs like the oh, first one, I and, the co- and the coach is like, Oh man, I embarrass this kid. Then he just starts. Banging, yeah, yeah. I think he had like 40 points or something. No, like he that. had like 15, but he hit like six in a row. Wet, yeah. wet. At what point? Do I gotta guard this kid? Yeah, you start Ding up on him. I think Always. thirty-three. I think if he makes three shots, you can guard, guard yeah, him. Yeah, dude. Because like now I'm getting bamboozled. You yeah, guys yeah. are tricking us dude, with this kid. The second he made, I played Mantis in a horse. Yeah, I didn't let him score. No, <laughs> I didn't let him score. I went under the hoop and I did five layups in a row because I knew his body couldn't bend that way. Yeah, right. He's and like, so I stood under there and I just did fucking what is five. It? It's it's like his back is inverted. So like his he doesn't know what it is. He he makes a, a joke uh, when he got hired through Barstool Idol. His first opening joke was I have like this. Uh, he said, basically like gave this very heartfelt message for the first like 20 seconds. I have this uh, condition. It's plagued me my entire life. I don't know like what's going on with my body. It's called BDS, big dick syndrome. My cock is so big that it inverts my back through my ribs or something like that's that. That's what he said. But that's what it really looks like. His rib cage is kind of pushed out. He's the nicest kid. He's the man. But how's he, his cock though? Is it legit? Oh, big. It's real big. <laughs> Pat goes, it's all right. It's, it's all right. right. It's I've all seen right. better. You've seen better. You've yeah. seen better. We're going to get into that real soon. That was, <laughs> that was my. That was, I was giving you a layup. Yeah. Like, like, all right, right, let's yeah, get yeah, into yeah. it. But he has like an undiagnosed uh, physical condition that just like somehow that, makes him that, wet from three. Just somehow makes him like. <laughs> so that's the it it kind of messes up his back, but he's just wet from three. He's got like a three point like scoliosis. Thing yeah, exactly. Three point nice. scoliosis. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. we also were talking about how like there was that one kid that had like his his like right leg like always turned in, but he had a nasty jumper. It was just so weird. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, pigeon toes. <laughs> there was always one kid in every school. That yeah, looked, like a CYO like, kid. This looks like yeah, ugly, yeah. but it keeps going. With in. the ugliest jumper, and he shot from like down here. <laughs> He's like plus shot, and he was just wet. When His did dad this, was the coach? When did the trend of like <laughs> not that it's a bad thing at all of like anybody who's letting like disabled kids or kids with like uh, any type of special needs stuff? We say stuff, S- special stuff. Yeah. When yeah. when did that like viral trend start? And was it always a thing like in the nineties that they let these kids 
like get a chance the manager definitely get a not because, I feel like it's an internet thing no because in the 90s everyone would just be like oh you're not making a TV yeah get, get out of here like this <laughs> fucking retard yeah, 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 yeah. exactly <laughs> but, people were but so then, mean back they're then. Italian yeah, everyone yeah. was Italian in the 90s <laughs> everyone, everyone yeah. was Italian the fuck in the, in the, in the, the 80s fuck this fucking retard hey DM up yeah in the 90s that was not gonna happen but I think they eventually cut no slack. No. eventually I think there was like a slow process of it being like oh we're gonna we're gonna uh Reserve a team manager spot for this kid that wants to be a part of the team. Yeah, but yeah, can't yeah. make the team. He's not good enough. And then, uh, you know, they start putting him in, putting um these kids in the game. And I mean, it's it's like cool to see, but I do think there is like an internet element to the whole thing. Yeah, hundred like, percent. You know, but also at the same time, like I was telling him in the one situation where that kid ended up hitting like six or seven threes in a row, it was like. Dude, if I'm a coach, I'd be like, I'm putting this kid out there at the start of every game. Yeah, like, if no one's going to gonna guard him because they're, like, worried. Yeah, let's and, go, But let's, he's let's, actually let's nice. Like, use it to your advantage. Let's go yeah. up 12 nothing. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and, 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 and then we'll pull him out. Yeah. You know, they need to shoot some free throws. We'll do it's a fucking little, genius. We'll do a little switch. That's what I'm saying. That's coaching. That's well, all that is. I don't is. know how I would feel, though, if they were like, hey, you want your kid to run for a fake touchdown? Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, that's too. I don't, I don't know. About I that. don't know. It makes, I don't, I don't, I'm very. Because it's too obvious. It's too Unless obvious. Unless they're a child. Like, if they're a child yeah. at, like, Notre Dame, like, running for a touchdown, they don't That know. I like. Those are cool. Do you like, think oh, the kid, kid has feels like he's, being... he's going to run through, like, Nebraska's, like, 100 yards. Like, that's cool. I'll someone, cry if my son did Someone that. just truck sticks him. Do you think yeah. like, the kid then feels, like, at some situations, almost, like, bad about themselves? If they're, like, self-aware that, like, they have, like, a, right. a disability, then they, they almost would That's the only thing I worry about when yeah. there's kids who are, like, they were, like, 16, 17 years old, and, you know, they have, like, autism or something, and they let them run for a touchdown, like... To me, I don't want to like. If they don't know, don't, it's fine. Yeah, exactly. I don't want them to know and then feel patronized, and then you just or feel exactly. like, or they don't want to patronize somebody like that's or up. you could be like that kid, and like I think it was he got a little cocky. <laughs> you thought he was selling? It? I thought he was selling. He was like, I got hot as a pistol, <laughs> and I was just like, okay. Remember that movie? With I was like, <laughs> you know, nobody was playing defense, <laughs> right? <laughs> I will lock your ass off. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, we'll see how hot you are if I come out there and fucking shuffle in and fucking make my sneakers squeak. Do you think we'll you, shut you down. You'd be up hot as a pistol kid right now. I would D the shit out. Dude, of I'd that fucking kid. body him. Yeah, you know, crush. I'd crush him. Remember that movie where Johnny Knoxville just played a retarded guy? Yes. Yeah, the ringer. Pretended to be good at. Are yeah. we allowed to say that? You're allowed to say that on this podcast. You what? guys are. You guys are. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Say whatever you want. No. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. How fucked. That and movie would never ever. fly to. Imagine. You know another one? I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two guys. How yeah. about this? Yeah. Gay stuff. Yeah. Right? Do you think Hollywood now is like. Do they? How do they portray gay? I feel like 10 years ago, they portrayed gay as like very over the top. All gays are super flamboyant. Now it's like it was it's, J- Jeremy Piven in Rush Hour, like that. Yes, was every, right. Yeah, it was like, like, oh my god, and Martin it's like, Short in the wedding, whatever the fuck. Right. It's. I think it's. I, oh, I think. Well, does, yeah. No, I think it's fine. I mean, there's always that element of just building like regular gay guys boring, like yeah, a regular yeah. of anyone. You look at anyone who gets put on camera anywhere. There has to be some element that makes some flair that makes them crazy. And the people who are gonna get views and who are going to draw attention are going to be the most flamboyant guys yeah or but it's you know. al- but it's also like i know like there's literally people sitting in a room that'll be like all right this is good but we need a gay <laughs> right like they'll write yeah. like like we need a gay we need to get the day de- the gay demographic so we're yeah. going to write in a gay right there's money in it yeah but it's just weird how much anything you see on tv more thought went into it than you obviously know yeah and it's like I think Hollywood, though, the way they're trying to portray gay people now is not as like they're super trying to they're trying too hard to make it normal. That's yeah. what I'm trying it's to say. It's not. It's being gay isn't normal. Yeah, it's not. A, it's not a <laughs> clip that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not. He's it's, gay, the guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. clip that and be like, he's gay. I he's swear gay, to God, I swear yeah, to God, he's gay. He's gay. He's gay. He's gay. He's gay. So he's gay. Think, he's gay. But you think about it. Out of however many billions of people on Earth, being gay is not the normal thing to be. Right. And when. Obviously, the word normal. Well, it's normal. I'm normal. Blah blah blah. No, it's like the lefty bi- of sex, right? Biologically, more people are straight than they than they are gay. So yeah. that makes that the norm. So to force that into things just to have it at times it feels like patronizing. Right. Yeah. Like okay, oh, we gotta get a gay. Uh, don't force it in. Yeah. It's right. like all the trans stuff now. Great. You want to be trans? Great. I'm all for it. 
it is so fucking oversaturated on TV and in every yeah on rate and just in everything. It's everything is trans, 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 trans. And this is I, gonna sound <laughs> fucking terrible, <laughs> by the way. But you know what I'm trying to say. No, I'm not. Dude, tr- I'm not trying you- to say pull it away. I'm trying to say if it feels forced, like it's coming down from like a network executive right. or someone else. Like we need to hit this demographic. Yeah. Or it's like you see a commercial. There's always the black guy, the Asian woman, yeah, the white guy, this and that, and yeah. now they're including like a gay couple, gay in it, I guess. Yeah. Which I, is fine. Literally, I was, I was walking through the airport, and it was like a bunch of Delta signs, and it was like uh, uh, a, a black family, a white family, an interracial family, an Asian woman, and then a gay couple. And I was just like, it was just it was just funny that I'm like, okay, Where's they're, the whites? they're clearly <laughs> hitting We get it. <laughs> no one is upset about this. Or the, we get the, the 13 Reasons Why. If you watch that show, right. the friend group is like, there's an Indian kid, there's an Asian right. girl, there's a white guy, there's a, a gay kid. That's not how high school works. I'm not sorry. At all. No, yeah, not it's at like all. prison. Okay. Right. <laughs> it's it's like, 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 you have a table, you stay with your people. Right. That's yeah. how it works. It's like chess club, football team. Black kids, white kids, yeah. Asian kids. And then shows like Euphoria, too. It's like... I loved Euphoria. Euphor- Euphoria was great. Oh, I, I'm not saying that word Euphoria. right. Euphoria. Euphoria. Uh, sorry. It's a cocaine flashback sometimes. Yeah. I forget it's what okay. I'm saying. It's okay. But um, Euphoria, I was like, yo, this is a really good show. It's cool. But... It it felt, was, that storyline felt forced, did it not? Yeah, and I was, like, about this is, I was like, this isn't school. That doesn't, that never happened. Aren't all the kids but, like popping Molly and Xanax like in class But then shit? it's also yeah. like, do, like, is that what's happening now? I, like, is because I, I honestly feel. I feel that old? Like, I honestly feel that like how the 60s are a sexual revolution, blah, blah, blah. I feel like the 2010s in a sense are a sexual revolution because like all this gay stuff came to the forefront. And the trans stuff. All yeah. the trans stuff. And now it's like, if younger kids are seeing this and it's really being portrayed that this is okay and it's normal to like explore your sexuality is that what's happening in high school all right before we get to the rest of the episode let's get to the sponsor that we have real quick uh we have indochino which makes custom menswear okay you get high quality suit fabrics you can pick the color pattern weight you can customize it uh it's it's great uh your suit is made to your exact measurements uh so you end up with a perfect fit for the shape of your body okay many bodies come in many different shapes and they will customize it so it fits you perfectly okay they also sell custom shirts coats and whatever else you need basically um for a full custom wardrobe uh they have showrooms across north america um you know they have a style guide that can take you take your measurements walk you through the process and you basically you get a nice looking custom suit okay right now our listeners get an extra 30 dollars off any purchase of 3.99 or more at indochino.com when entering basement at checkout um Plus, shipping is absolutely free. That's Indochino.com. Promo code is BASEMENT for $30 off your purchase of $399 or more. High-quality custom suits for off-the-rack price. Okay? Go get your suits, kids. I think about that, too, because I'm like, I never... De- like, there were kids in high school that... you, you They were obviously gay, but they would never right. say it. So it was like... A whole bunch was, of them. It was like yeah. it was like that, but there was I never knew anyone who was trans at all, no. and it was never like a thought in my mind. Like I probably didn't even know. I had two what people in my class. Yeah, but trans. later on, right? Later on. Yeah, oh, so but not in high there. school. Though. Yeah, but I only had a grade of like 120 people. So I yeah. really wonder how that is, though, because like to have, uh, especially like, you know, I mean, I'm. 28 years old like it's not like anything crazy but like when you're Still got time. in high no but i'm saying like you i'm not that out. far removed from high school right. <laughs> i'm not that far removed from high school but even back then i would i wonder how it would play out if there was a trans person in my class like would it be weird like would they would people say things or would like back then yeah i wonder and it wasn't even that long there probably ago. was but they probably weren't emboldened enough right. to be themselves. Exactly. Where now it's like all we're so inundated with everything on TV all the time yeah. that like now you think that there's more, but maybe it's just people being themselves. I sound like an old man when I'm No, but you're about right, this. because yeah. that's exactly what it is. Like once it came to the forefront of like, okay, uh, gay marriage is legal and you know, all this trans stuff is being like all of it like all of it's great. Like, cool, yeah, we should be more accepting, like to the idea of like straight guys and then gay guys don't say anything and like that's right. all we have like obviously that's not real so now it's like good that there's a good mix of things especially like everyone should be themselves like obviously um but i think it the only reason why it is happening more where it's like oh okay there is like a bunch of gay kids in my class now it's like you're just aware of it now because they're not afraid to say that they are right yeah. it's like when i i graduated in 2007 yeah, i would too. never 
dream of like fucking. I didn't even come out in college. Was there openly gay kids in your guys' like high yeah, school? Yeah, there was. But, there like, was any openly gay couples? I mean, no, no None, openly right? gay couples. But there was like two openly gay kids, and they took hell. Yeah, like they yeah, got it was bad. Yeah, destroyed. Now, like I ran into one of them a while back. This kid Scott, who lives in New York, and I was like. Buddy, like, <laughs> I was like, I'm right here with you, Scotty. Get over here. What do you say? Yeah. That was just high. I mean, he was still like, but yeah. he, but he also couldn't have hit it. I mean, he was the gayest kid in the world. Right. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right. See, I mean, like, not like, yeah, I could. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. so, so, I gotta ask. Ask it. How old was your first gay experience? <sighs> like, hmm. young. Really? Yeah. Experience? Yeah. What do you count as a gay experience? Yeah. I mean, like, like, like made out, like made out with a dude. Out, like, yeah. no, oh. nothing, like nothing weird happened. Probably, to like, you. S- probably like fifth grade, maybe. Damn, dude. you made out with a kid in fifth grade, dude. We were jacking each other off in fifth grade. Wait, what? Wait, yeah. I wasn't was, even was jacking they, but, myself. We made it. Off. Was they we gay? We made it. What the fuck? Pay okay, dirt. so Pay this dirt. kid who it was like wasn't. This sounds fucked, but we like kind of like fooled around in like second and third grade. Oh wow! Remember when you said this sounds fucked? You were right. Yeah, yes. it does. It does. It is fucked. But we th- that like is around. Like, it was just no, but it was just like a little like tu- like touchy, like a little much. And then like we got to middle school and we would like jack each other off, but we didn't come yet. Right. So because it, it was in middle school, so it didn't count. Right. Okay. And then it wasn't gay. It wasn't gay. Okay. So if it's not gay, if you don't come, yeah. Then my first come gay experience. Yeah. <laughs> Your first come gay. My first cum gay was senior year of college. Senior year of college. My first CG was senior year of college. So you were getting wow. jacked from fifth grade. Yeah. Now. Is that kid gay now, openly, or is he? I don't know, but I've run into him a few times at home, and I've been like, "You remember?" <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so he's a straight dude, though? Yeah, but like he moved away, but I'm like, Nyeh. "What was that movie that came out and won all those awards where those dudes like jacked each other off on the beach?" What? What? But Mahershala know. Ali was in it. Oh, it was. Oh, that's kind of what you guys. Got it was like based on. in L.A. or something, and he was a, a gay dude coming up from the, in the streets of L.A. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't remember what don't it was know. called. I don't but, know. Yeah. I'm gonna watch it. Sounds like your story though. Yeah, it, yeah. it does. The Green Book. The, no. <laughs> it was the Green Book. Was it? There was, was there, the there, green no, book. the Green Book is how black people got through the South. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. is yeah. similar. Playing the piano. Which is definitely similar to getting jerked off in fifth grade. <laughs> yeah. So did you guys like? Did you guys? If you see him now, that's crazy. Do you guys talk? I don't fucking see. I heard, so I heard he was home last time I was home, and I went on Grinder being like, "Is there a chance that this fucking kid is on? He's yeah. on. Oh, is he really? Yeah, nice. and he wasn't because he's not gay. He was a child. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's a common thing? Yeah, yeah I think kids, guys kids, fucking kids, kids are gross. gross. Kids are gross. We're yeah, gross. we're gross. We're gross. You I never jerked j- anybody off. You never jerked off with your buddies when you were younger. No, but no. I had. I had it. Oh, man, I don't want. That's I, I didn't jerk off with my buddies, but I had a kid totally molest me when I was like in fifth grade. I oh. had a kid. I had a kid. Okay. Not like molest That's me. He like touched my dick. I had a. Fa- I had a family. Wait, he touched your dick? Down, yeah, it was weird. I had Wait, a family why? friend like kind of cornered me and jerk off. Ex- and tried to make me watch. I basically had my brother Mike saved me. Yeah. Yeah. So I had the same exact thing. He said like reverse situation. So I was. It was like a family friend. We don't obviously talk to the family anymore. And the kid was like, "You want to come?" Come see my new club, my clubhouse underneath my bed, and I was like, "Yeah!" He like we played Goldeneye. I thought it was gonna be cool, it'd be board games. And, and then he just like dick. showed me his dick, and he's like, "Let me see yours." And I was like, "No!" And then he tried to grab it and just ran away. And that's oh, what wow. my mom. Yeah, Jesus. My, mine was. Yeah. Is, my uh, mom doesn't know that, so I hope she doesn't listen to this because she'll be yeah. upset. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm surprised <laughs> I never told this. I've only talked talked about the vice principal, the one that fucked me in my ass. But um, what? Yeah, no, we, no, he made that up. No, 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 no. I did have a vice principal try to try to court me though. Um, court? Yeah, yeah, he courted me. Bought him flowers. Curtsies for. Yeah. How are you, Danny? He used to text me at 11 <laughs> right o'clock at night. Way. He used to text me at like 11 o'clock at night and ask me what I was doing and write me like birthday letters and shit. What the fuck? Yeah, he wanted to fuck you. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, we were at a family friend's house. You did it? Everyone was in the pool. <laughs> Twice. No, but uh, no. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> now, we now we don't know. Yeah, now, no. I like to keep people guessing at this point, but that story is true. Um, so we were at a family friend's house and... He was like, hey, what's up? Like, come downstairs. I want to show you something on my computer. He was a few years older than me. That's, That's how it starts. So weird. Couple dudes just sucking each other's cocks. Oh, the video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought you made it seem like we were down there, just a couple of guys. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, we, we were in sucked. the pool, and he was like, hey, what's up? Like, I want to show you something. Video, like, sucking dick. And I was like, <laughs> and then me, I'm like sixth grade. I'm like, yo, bro, this is gay. <laughs> I'm like, oh. I turn around, his cock's out, and he's just smashing it. What? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Did you tell anybody? Did you tell your like your parents? Yeah, I told my brother like immediately. I should have told then, my mom probably. Yeah, nah. It was it was just one of those things. I was like, yeah, this <laughs> shit is kind of weird. <laughs> and then I saw him in a McDonald's. Like, mom doesn't believe you. 
12 years <laughs> later, and I want to be like, Showed me your dick. You're going to fuck me in the ass. I know you were. <laughs> I know you were. Jesus, that's yeah. so crazy. Yeah, my, fir- my first CG, I met the guy off Craigslist. CG? S- Craigslist? Yeah. Yo, there's works. a gay underworld of fucking. Dude, that's that, insane. Yeah, it is insane. The first, I remember watching the Lifetime movie Craigslist Killers and being like, oh, people get laid off this? <laughs> <laughs> I can they're, they're detailing how everyone gets what murdered. What about the murder part? That <laughs> murder? I was, I'm not going to get murdered. I'm going to be fine. Yeah, yeah, I was in yeah. Amherst, Massachusetts. No one's going to kill me in Amherst. Uh, you never know. I think they would. So I went on Craigslist. This is pre grinder 2010. And I met a guy. He was an RA. At a I, college. In college. And I went to his dorm and he looked nothing like his pictures. Was he but, still good looking? He was good looking enough, nope. clearly. He was good. And I was just like, all right, I'm here. I might as well do it anyway. And then he just sucked my dick. And then I walked oh. out of, and then I walked out of that room and I was like, that was like my test to see if I was gay. And you're like, I'm gay. And I walked out of that room and I was like, oh no. <laughs> this is, you're, you're like I'm gay. Oh, so you're like yeah, it's official. Sure. And then and then it was just ten straight years. Did you hook? Fucking. Did you <laughs> for real? Did you hook yeah. up with girls before that? Yeah, a lot. How many no. girls? Like like ah, that's did you have three, a girlfriend? Th- no, I never had a girlfriend. I I've, I've had sex with three girls. Yeah. Did you totally. come? Uh one. Inside the other two. No. That would I, I, I faked that, one. I was like, ah, we, yeah, we are, we are, we are. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you fake? Do you fake it? I, I faked it. I pretended to come like in my hand. It? If it's like a whiskey, you come in your hand. I pretended to come in my hand because I couldn't come. You'll come. And this girl was like, oh, I was like really on. drunk, getting like losing my my dick. It was I was kind of like getting whiskey dick, and I was like, and rather than have this girl think I'm impotent, I'll just pretend to like come in my hand. No, because then they th- they'll come in your hand. No, but they th- then they think it's something with them though. Yeah, They're like what's wrong? I'm like, dude. I'm just drunk and my dick's I've fucked. had a exactly. fifth of vodka. <laughs> yeah. That's what happened. My penis yeah. isn't going to work right this now. This girl who I lost my V2 was in the front seat of my mom's Chevy Trailblazer. Nice. And I went to Pound Town. Oh, her really? This... For like 45 minutes. Wow. Just Jesus. trying to make myself come. And I just didn't. And I looked at... This is going to be pretty graphic. I don't know if I should tell it. Well, you're already you're t- yeah, yeah, you're already And I we're looked down, and I was, I was like, yeah. noodle dick. I was, we're in the trailblazer now. Noodle dick drunk, and I looked down. I'm like, what is that? Oh, no. And, she, and it was, she pulls out just a fucking bloody pad. Oh. And she was on her period, which is a natural thing that many women do. Yeah. But as a closeted gay man, that Please. shut the door for me. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> that's when I was like, <laughs> that was your first CG. Oh, that was, like, that was, that what was it, the turning point. That was so it. So when, when did you know... You definitely beat up some gay kids in school, right? Oh, jet I ne- ski. I never beat up any gay kids, no. He looks at me. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I love no, how he did. He goes, I'm kidding, I did. I did. I love how he looked at Pat for like, he's like, no, I haven't done that, right? <laughs> right? No, I never I didn't I beat never you up, up, right? Beat no, up no, any no. gay kids, no. You said you were closeted at that point. What? How old are you? And you were like, yeah, I'm gay. Like before the RA sucked your ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying like, to think. Like a lot of a lot of people have it like mapped out. Like this was the day that I came out. No, nah, before you were in I like you were in like third grade and you were like, oh man, I'm no, because I didn't know. Jacking off dudes in fifth grade, <laughs> no, because I didn't. No, because I didn't know. It no, was like I remember grade, like dude. towards the end of college, I had the realization <laughs> where I was like, I would watch porn <laughs> and it would be straight porn, and, and you then just I'd, watch it, dude. And I'd be like, oh, I'm just watching the guy. And yeah. then I'd be like, all right. And then I was like wa- actively watching gay porn. So I was like, okay, this is probably an indicator that I'm gay. Yeah. And then it was just like, towards the end of senior year, I was like, all right, I'm gay. And then I just hit it for another two years, two, three years. And then I eventually came out. It's so interesting when you say it like that, because usually, like you said, people are like, oh, I knew since I was in like third grade or whatever. But I'm now I'm trying to put myself in the mind of someone trying to even figure that out. Because how old are you? 30. Yeah. Right, so We're being same age. 30 years old, because what? We're the same age. Right, so back in the day where it wasn't super acceptable, everyone's like, well, I'm not, I'm not gay. I'm just like young. I don't really know. Figuring it out, like blah, blah, blah. Because like you said, in like fifth grade, like you don't know if you're fucking no. gay or not. I blacked it out because it was too painful. But not as only that. No, as, as, cra- as crazy as that sounds, yeah, I, I don't remember. That. People ask my coming out story all the time, and I like vaguely remember, but it was just so horrific to do yeah. that I just don't even have like I told my mama on the way to CVS yeah it was in a car right in a car you I think came I came out of multiple you. cars all I did, it was weird all I did was cars yeah I did one on coming the way out to, in cars would be your Netflix coming out in wow. not comedians in cars comedians coming, coming, out, coming out, in out in cars I just yeah. get closeted people to come out on my show <laughs> I had my Let's go bro- get some coffee. Like <laughs> Anything a you want? Thunderbird. All straight. They go, what? No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. not. I had my brother, then my mom, then my sister, then my dad. And then I was just worried about my buddies. It's like my family, all right, they'll be fucking fine. 
but I was worried about my buddies because they're all just dirt Massachusetts dirt bags, Italian kids, yeah, Irish kids. It's like any, it's like well, maybe it's not like where you guys are from. Like, <laughs> <laughs> similar to Long Island, I would similar say. Similar to Long Island, all Irish yeah. and Italians, but they were fucking A bunch fine. of jet skis around. That's yeah, a bunch, yeah. Of, yeah. bunch of jet skis. A bunch of gay bashers around. Was any of them just like, <laughs> I fucking knew you were gay? No. No. Really? Oh, oh you know what? Them? I had one friend, my buddy, you know my buddy Dave, the yeah. cop. This kid is like the most emotionally intelligent. He's a fucking dartbag. Biggest scumbag I know. But I he, know you were fucking gay. He was, he is so, he is so funny. Like he was in the Marine Corps. At, he was just like this next level of like emotional shit. intelligence yeah. And, yeah. and humor. And I remember like towards the end, as I was getting ready to come out, he'd be like, "You're gay," and I was like, <sighs> "Like my life just like flashed for me." I was like, "No, no, 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 no." And then I came out. He's like, "Dude, I knew." Everyone else in my life, not a single person knew. That's except crazy. Dave. Wow, and it was the, wild. Only one person. Yeah. And now everyone knows. What's the, like, the statistic- <laughs> this is a statistical breakdown of like how many people per, I don't know, five guys are, are gay, right? Well, it's yeah. one in four right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think we nailed it. I often try to think of like, I feel like someone in my friend group has got to, is going to be gay, like come out gay, has to be, right? Like, or had a gay experience or something. That's yeah. the thing. That's the thing that I'm interested in. <laughs> I feel like most people have had some sort of fucking gay experience, or maybe that's just a gay fantasy. No, I've had gay dreams. I definitely I've talked about a, it on the show. A ganacy. I, th- I definitely think it's a ganacy. You've had a ganacy? No, I'm saying I think you're having a ganacy of being like, right I think now. straight dudes will like try it. A hundred percent. I can't tell you how many. 100%. I'm sure you probably like had like hooked up with straight dudes, right? Yeah. Like when we were like, but then you wonder if you're doing that when you're 24, 25, how many of these guys are straight and right, how yeah, many yeah. are fucking just don't know they're gay yet. So, so you dude, were, I'm not gay. It's like, all right, dude, whatever. My yeah. dick's in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah all right. right. Whatever, buddy. <laughs> I, do, I do another podcast show called All of People's Lives and we did this one episode where, because we like anonymously call people and they like tell their story or whatever. And there's just one guy that strictly, for, I mean, for as much as he can, will exclusively hook up with straight dudes. Who are like straight in in monogamous relationships with right. women and hook up with them, and I'm like, is that something that gay dudes like go out of their way to be like, you know what, I'm gonna go after a straight guy? I think I don't like the like trophy hunting like yeah. analogy of it, just I think that feels so predatory and weird. But yeah. it's, it's like definitely a culture and like a thing. But like I've hooked up with guys who have had girlfriends who tell me they're straight, and I'm like, you're not straight. We just had sex. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. You're not, I don't believe that straight guys hook up with other guys. You have to be a little bit gay to do that. We just yeah. thought, we talked about this like last week. You have what? to be a little bit gay. You can't compartmentalize yourself. Where, that I said the hypothetical. If I said to Joe, I said, yo, if I come to you and I was like, yo, last night I got like messed up, I got a little tipsy, I, I let this guy suck my dick. I go, are you going to think I'm gay? And he was like, no, nah, I would think you were bi, but that's a because little bit gay. But he's definitely a little bit gay. By yeah, for sure. I'd, I'd be like, all right, well, he's yeah. not like fully like, oh, I'm exclusively going to hook up with women. I'm, I'm open to the idea of hooking up with a guy. Because like the, the act of talking to a dude like all night and like feeling some sort of motion towards him enough to where you're going to leave in the same car, go back to your apartment or whatever. Suck that dick. So it's like <laughs> all of that is like whatever. But if you, if, if you have like a gay experience and then you're like, uh, I'm not really into it or whatever the case may be, or maybe you only have like two your entire life, you're still le- – it's like, you know, obviously they say have like sexuality and spectrum. Like you're still – like leaning towards straight more than I you think are. it's just right. people. I think it's just people are more open to it, and it goes yeah. back to what we said before because it's less like stigmatized. People be like, oh, people who were on the fence ten yeah. years ago who might have had a few drinks and been like talking to a gay guy now be like, ah, oh, fuck it, I'll do it. Yeah, because yeah. a lot of times on this show, like we'll America's talk. America's about to get gay. Yeah. America's about. To- <laughs> yeah. A make, lot of times- make America gay for for, 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 for once. For once. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's I think it's just like funny to see like dudes who are, it's like kind of ironic how dudes who are super masculine and like yeah like Ugh, and they're afraid to even be like like yo Chris Hemsworth is fucking hot and they'd be like oh, dude that's fucking gay right. stop and you're like but I think Relax. there's way there's way less of that than there used to be yeah no there is but it's crazy that it still exists because there be oh, time, yeah. there are times on the show like we'll we'll do stuff I'm like mad that gay on the show like we'll say you are you. I feel like you're holding back Dude, right now. I'll tell you. I feel like you're now. holding back to try and be to try and be respectful, Listen, and, I, nice. and I don't want you to. No, 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 I want no, you no, to no. let all the questions out now. It's like you know, you're a cub. It's fine. You're a hooded cub. I'm a hooded cub. <laughs> hooded cub up here and down there. Hooded yeah. up. 
Yeah. Oh, did you have? Oh, you're circumcised? I am circumcised. I'm Irish. Oh, gross. Yeah. Circumcised? <laughs> you're circumcised, too? They don't let that fly. You guys have all been mutilated? That's crazy. I do think it's fucked G-mute. up that I was circumcised. I wish I was. Though. I think my dick would be bigger if I wasn't circumcised. Oh, yeah. My dick also has think an it's extra not a quarter inch on it. It's not an attractive quarter inch. A quarter inch of uh, skin. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just Ear saying. Earlobe. But if I send, mm. like, if I, you know, I can make it, I can turn it and make it look. What are you talking about? Turn it. You could turn your dick? Yeah. When you take a picture of your penis. You, what do you mean turn it? You're taking pictures what? of your cock? No, Sideways it, like, a, like it's like a big Do potato? you take a picture of your penis flat down? <laughs> no. I turn my I turn my cock to the side. Show, I go show, I go show in the, the bathroom, bathroom full I'm, body. Because you get the extra girth because you get the vein of your dick I'm, in I'm, the pic. Okay. Wait, so do you hold it against your thigh and like. No, no, no. I'll do it from here and I'll rotate it <laughs> okay. to a perfect angle. Prop it up so it's coming upwards for the camera. So she can see the length. And then she can see the length, but I'm holding it at the base because it's also making it look like you know, bigger. You yeah, squeeze it a little bit. Yeah, we know. Then you get the vein going through the middle. It's getting boned up. You get the vein going through the middle. Now you got like an extra quarter inch of a fucking thick cock. This is science has went into Damn. this. Yeah, you should. Have you ever been circumcised because you're not circumcised? Hell no. My dick game is way too good. That's why though. But like, even like, if the girl sees it for the first time, she's like, "What is that?" No, I've never had a girl ever say that. I've actually had many people tell. Well. I've had many people. You, you go Trump. <laughs> many we're people. Gonna, we're gonna fix that in post. Uh, <laughs> I've had many people. I've had people say that my penis is uh, a very attractive. I have a very good looking penis. Nice. I'm happy. I feel yeah. like everyone gets that that thing every so often. Yeah, but I feel like there's girl, some ugly this dicks. Is, this is oh, like there's what, some hideous this, dicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm there's and there's some girls though that'll be like when you're with them, they'll be like, "Yo, your dick was amazing, and you had such a pretty cock." Pretty then, cock. Uh, yeah, yeah. Girls, girls love to what say like, "Oh, you have a like handsome a re- hog." Yeah, like you have a pretty, you have a pretty <laughs> cock. You have a pretty dick. You have nice. a pretty dick. That's I'm like, thing. oh, thanks. I would rather hook up with a guy who's ugly with a great dick than hot with an ugly dick. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. What would make it ugly? Misshapen, like bulbousy, bad proportions. If the the head is really it's, fat, it's, the shape of the head skinny. determines a lot. If it's too pointy, yeah. If it's too wide. <laughs> I hear too you. flat. I agree. Like, like the French have very pointy dicks. The French? The fr- a yeah, very, is that a real thing? Yeah, French have very pointy dicks. French's dicks are like a a triangle. So I guess the doctors out there are just kind of... Yeah. They're cutting this. The Irish way. have good dicks. Irish what, have good dicks. I think good the Irish have traditionally uh, sometimes beautiful dicks. I thought small. <laughs> I was told it's an Irish... Called the Irish curse. I mean, I have a small dick. Beautiful. The, the, beautiful uh, the, the Irish curse is having a small penis. And I have a small penis. I mean, don't get me wrong. My dick is small, but it's pretty. I have one of the most <laughs> mediocre cocks of all time. A very, very mediocre penis. What is the... I think you've said before... Um, People from like the Middle East have the big, have the biggest cocks in your opinion. They do. Middle Eastern Middle Easterners. Wow, have big old hogs. Indians have huge hogs. Oh, actually, no. Indians <laughs> hogs. <laughs> Indians hogs aren't that big. I, well, I've seen both. I've seen a big Indian hog and a not and a little big and, a, hog. and a little pig. But I'm hooking up with a. I was hooking up with a 24 year old Indian guy recently who's oh. straight, but his hog wasn't big, but it looked big in the pictures. <laughs> You're going back well, to what I just see said. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the whole hog uh, yeah, no, so breakdown. Ooh, I blacked yeah. out. I blacked no. out what happened. I don't no, know what's happening. Um, it was actually also uh, fucking um, <laughs> when we went to Barstool and we did uh, the breakfast show and then we were on Barstool Gold, we had your grinder account and the categories on that thing were just unreal. Oh, it was fucking fire. Because up. there's pause. Like, pause, yes. Yeah, people who are, which I which I found to be interesting. <laughs> pause. Yes. It's so fun. Pause. We don't shame here, though. No, we don't. And pause means don't. HIV I'm positive. I'm gonna fucking right? fire it up right now. See if anyone's here. Anyone good? It's HIV positive. Danny's on. <laughs> Zero feet away. <laughs> <laughs> His face, like not even hiding. <laughs> yeah. Um, the exact described dick pic. I found, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I found that to be fucking interesting, though. Do you just can't, literally every time that you hop on? Because I have talked to a gay a gay guy one time when I was on set and shooting, and he's like, "You know how like guys think about sex all the time? Yeah, that's gay dudes, but they just like can act on it. So yeah. it, th- that's why like grinders like feet, like they're <laughs> two hundred feet away. It's like, all right, cool, sup, <laughs> come you over. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, it's yeah, yeah. No, you hit the nail on the head. When you open <laughs> up, the, when you open <laughs> yeah, that that's app, that's pretty much it. I'm here right now. When you open that app, you you match every time probably. No, yeah. well, it's not a match; it's a grid. Okay, All right, and then what? Okay, yeah. click on so it? So I, I, got, I got my preferences up. So Keep. if I shut my preferences off, I'll get a whole new batch. Just a mess of, Oh, yeah. so there's no matching. It's like someone in your area, you message them, they determine if they want to answer back or not. Yeah, so it's just like, it's essentially like a find friend. So like what? I have right now, I have it on 18 to 30. 18, so young. <laughs> but you would bang an 18-year-old, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I have 18 to 35. 
That's the only filter I have on. But like, I could turn on a tribe. Can you do one mile? A what's, tribe. What's a tribe. Let's get uh, to know this neighborhood a little. You want to? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's <laughs> a 19 year old on here who's big. I could turn on like a jock. Looking for you have advanced filter. The advanced filters are kind of fucked up. You have like photos, weight, height, position, body type, ethnicity. You What's can position? sort. You can sort like top, bottom. See none you of that. You can do on a straight race. dating app. You cannot. No. You cannot sort by here. You want to look at the neighborhood? Sort by race on Tinder. But you click on a guy, you get an ad. That's fine. Sucks. We pay I, for the adless version. I, dude, it's exp- It's like twenty bucks a month for an adless yeah, version of yeah, this. Yeah, but you're out there fucking though. Yeah, that's I where you get your Like money. this guy is hot, but he's young. He's not 19. That's a lie. That's Dude. a dad's. Yeah, body. yeah. That's a. D- that guy's. That looks divorced. like Hugh Jackman. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> here, I just shut off. No the, I just shut off the filts. Go ahead. That's an older guy. All right. Let's see if we don't know. Don't look at that. Do me a favor. Don't look in the messages. No, 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 no. Oh, I was not gonna do that. Don't worry about it. Oh, this is a big old boy here. <laughs> yeah, that's a big man. That's, that's a big man. That's a big man. He's floating Ooh, in a pool. Big belly lover. That's a cub. There's no real pools around here. This guy kind of looks like you if you were blonde and like, I guess gay. Or just blonde. <laughs> or just, or just blonde. blonde. Or yeah. just blonde. Okay. <laughs> Some of these names are incredible. Oh, read there's an obedient. There's an obedient. What, oh, is oh that, that's obedient a sub. sub. A sub? Oh, okay. So Who if I was feeling subs? particularly dummy today, uh, right. I might hit up the obedient <laughs> sub. What's B two? What else does it say? It just, like, un- by their name, it says be, like, squared or something? I don't know. Oh, maybe there's two people. Oh, these oh, are their usernames. Man, dude, you guys are fucking. Oh, yeah, see here, Astoria Buy. Oh, there's a buy? How old? Swipe up. On Click on them? Just swipe up. Uh, what you, wait, click what? On him, click on them. Click, oh, oh, yeah, on click on them. Uh, he's... This turns into you, me just... Wait. Oh, my God, <laughs> and it has a last tested... Yeah. Just so this is so you interesting. Make this sure. is why it's crazy. It's because there's height, weight, ethnicity, body type, looking for HIV status, and last tested. Wow. Yeah. You got to make sure. Yo, the that last you're tested fucking... should be on all things. Yeah, it should be on all yeah. things. Yeah. Tinder, Bumble, I went, everything. Yeah. I went yesterday, two days ago, to the fucking the doc. Clean. Nice. Neg. Neg, <laughs> Neg baby. Neg, we not positive. You know what? No yeah, that's fucking on there all the time. We're going to do this. You got three guys here. Fuck, marry, kill. Oh, I would love that. Ooh, okay. I have a feeling this is gonna be a promo. He's pro- he's not gonna marry him because they're already having problems at work. As fuck, no- fuck as a marry, kill. No, we've quelled, we've quelled the problem. <laughs> What'd you say? A Nordstrom deal comes up. <laughs> oh yeah, you've gotten over it. Yeah. We've gotten over it. We've quelled them. Yeah, for sure. Uh, this is tough. Yeah, yeah. Because I gotta work with jet ski. That's yeah. True. <laughs> I gotta. <laughs> yeah. Because I gotta see this guy tomorrow. Unless yeah. you kill him. Unless Unless you kill him. Kill but then you're out an editor. Yeah. That's true. Then I'm out an editor. But then I could get Chef Donnie in. And he's oh, the hot, really hot one. He's the hotter version of Jet Ski. Nice. <laughs> right, but right. Jet Ski's got a better I mean, body. I think, obviously, I married Danny, right? <laughs> yeah. Of course, everyone's going to marry Danny. I'm a very marriable man. For married sure. man. Yeah. He's a cuddly guy. I and am. I have the fucking kill. I mean, I'm on your podcast, so, you know, you want to... Is Joe your type? Repay. Is, am I your type? No. Oh, fuck. Am Why I not? more your type? Also, no. So what's your like actual type? I think there's a height thing here. No, I think I would I would have to kill Jetski just because I know him too well. So yeah, I would have yeah, to fuck yeah, I would that. fuck Joe and then I would me. and then I would marry Dan. I would have to fuck. I would have to kill I've thought about killing Jetski. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah that's uh, right. how it works. Yeah. So that's almost what's, a fantasy in itself, whereas fucking Joe's probably a little bit yeah, fantasy. I would, killing me is a fantasy. Exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> you so, probably come harder from killing me than you would for fucking Joe. Oh, hundred yeah. percent. I jerk off on the body. Yeah. That's got it. You should probably see a therapist for that. Sure. So Maybe. I'm just maybe. It's like Aaron Hernandez, <laughs> Barstool Pat, and Bill Cosby. <laughs> it like goes in that order right there. Ke- That's kind of where it goes. R. Kelly's falling so down. So do, do you have a specific type where mm-hmm. it's like, I'm going to look for this first, then if nothing's popping off? Because I feel like with Grinder, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah. very hard go over on there. <laughs> You'd be it's literally it's so shallow it all comes down to the pictures you take. Really? Like if I use a picture that I it depends on the picture. If yeah. your pictures look good, you'll get laid. If they don't, you won't. Like gay guys will have no problem telling you on grinder. Nope, not my type. Yeah. Gross, blah blah. But my type They'll say gross? Know. Oh, dude, they'll say fucking gross. God, gay dude. people are mean, dude. It's the worst. My type, I don't Wait, know. Wait, so you've like, messaged someone and be like, hey, what's up? And they're like, You're fucking gross. Get out of like, here. Gross, not Scram. my type. Yeah. Dude, gay people are mean. There's a yeah, lot of body dude. shaming. Oh, from it's what I've heard. That's kind of that's kind of insane. Fire in a way, though. Yeah, I've it also is. lost I've straight lost. Bu- straight business. <laughs> it's you know the thing is you know where you stand. Yeah, gay people do not hold back. No, no, and they will fuck though. Yeah, listen, 
I'll fuck. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. We know. If you want me to fuck, I'll fuck. <laughs> I'm going to say a number, and I just want to know if it's over or under. Okay. 20. For what? Fucking. Are we talking BJs or just fu- or no, fucking? No, just P, uh, P and B. Oh, over. Wow. Dude, I've been... Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Don't stop. Dude, I've been... Yeah, no, we're going <laughs> to... What are you doing? <laughs> you're, just, you're just that amazed by 20? 30? 30. Danny, I've 30. been in the game for a while, my friend. You don't 30? understand. when 30? you When you... <laughs> over. He goes, 40? Wow. Over. Are you kidding me? 60? 60. Over and over. Yes, yes. Dude, no, I've been... You dude, fuck so much. 100? You're a champion. 100. Uh, I don't know. Dude. I Did think you the know thing this? Is when you, I didn't know he was out a, there in the streets like this. No, but he's out here it's in been the streets. It's been accumulated over a long period of time. Dude. When you're like 22 and you got to get it when you're closeted, you will go to any lengths to get it. And you can and you're constantly trying to fuck. Like over the course of my career? Uh-huh. Dude, my respect, blow jobs? My respect level has just gone <laughs> fucking through the roof for you. BJ's <laughs> fucking 200. The, well over 200. What? Since I was give or take though. I bet both. The mutual BJs are probably a huge Mutual thing, right? BJs? Mutual BJs. How do you do that? BJs? How do you do that? Does yeah, one do you go have to come first? Or you a little side action? You lay on your side? Oh, okay. You just take Look turns? Yeah, because up and down would be a little dangerous. It would be dangerous. You get daggered. You're I mean, also a taller man. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now well, I feel, like a, now I feel like a hooer. I respect your cock. Well, I do. I respect your gay penis. Thank you. Thank you. I, <laughs> I do. This guy's, this guy's a craftsman. But you fucked way more than any of my straight friends. That's for sure. Yeah. Straight That's people why, don't fuck like that. Uh-uh. Whenever Sorry. I, whenever I hear people, oh, I fuck 15 people. I got 15 loges, whatever. I'm like, you don't even know, my friend. Who the hell you bragged about getting 15 people. loges? I don't know. That probably is interesting. No, no. I probably made that up. That's insane. You started at 20. I went to 100. Like, and he was like, well, I don't know. Have you ever sat down and tried to do the math? So I had a sheet of paper that I kept in my wallet. <laughs> this was probably when I was. It, it, no, no, no. It's not. No, but here's the fucked up thing. <laughs> Like oh, he has it. No, I don't have it. Oh, oh, I wish I did. Oh, that would have been great. That would have been, been like one of those long things. She's like, I'm clipping that. Day. It's like, like a, s- a scroll. <laughs> <laughs> I was younger. I was probably 21, 22, and I was so paranoid of getting a disease that I thought if I write down the names God of, will protect you. of the people I hook up with, at least I'll know who I can trace it back to. Of if, course. That's smart. If anything happens. Yeah, that's smart. Okay. And so the sheet filled up, and I just had like such shame over all these people that I was like, okay, I'm just going to throw the sheet out. And then I just stopped keeping track. I would get that piece of paper and get it put on a shirt. <laughs> oh, my God. And, I, and then have people ask you, what is that? Just yeah. be like, kill count. <laughs> Confirm kill count shirt. It's like, who's Caesar January 25th? <laughs> right. But like Doctor. a lot of people you don't know. <laughs> this is fucked. Like a lot of people you don't know much about them. Like when you're younger and you're trying to hook up. It's yeah. so like I would have a note on there. It'd be like Chris Rink. And it was like Chris, who I hooked up with in the rink. Oh. The ice rink. I used to work in an ice rink. Yeah, you drove the Zamboni, right? I did drive the Zamboni. You, you, were, you were boning on the Zamboni? <laughs> Wasn't boning on the Zamboni. That would have been lit. Zamboni. But there's a lot of beaches, not really a lot of fucking. Right. Yeah. Right. Thank but, God yeah. for ice rinks, right? Yeah. It's a great place to get sucked. <sighs> great great I would love to get, get sucked, sucked in a rink. rink. That's fantastic. Get that Freon yeah. suck. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. This is one of the greatest days of my life, I think. Yeah. Is that a little too real? Was I a little too real with you guys? No. (laughs) We're friends. That's fine. All right. Like, we're actually friends. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I would expect for you to be honest with me. I mean, I got to ride in a cab back with Jet Ski. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to get kicked out of this fucking moving vehicle. Yeah, but, like, see, like, I feel like in an environment, especially at Barstool, you guys are kind of labeled as, before, anti-gay. Right. Yeah. And misogynistic. It, misogynistic, anti-gay. Right. Um, has there been a shift in there that you like noticeably see it? But I feel like you guys still stay pretty true to who you guys are. A shift in terms of just in terms of like content that you would put out or content that somebody would write. Because I know, like, obviously Francis got fired for that thing, but that's I get that. Right. But like, you never had to sacrifice any content. Because you didn't have to worry about like oh what the gay community or do think other about. oh no for me personally no yeah. I've gotten flack from the gay community from DMs and shit for stuff that I've written yeah but a lot of that comes from like I'm sure you guys know online just a vocal minority yeah like people yeah. don't there are certain factions of the gay community that think I'm playing a part or I'm not gay enough or I'm not what does that even mean exactly they think oh he's trying to be broy and mask because he's at bar stool. 
And it's like, I'm just literally just fucking being myself. This dude's myself. fucked a hundred butts. What are you talking <laughs> about? What do I have to do? How much gayer can you get? Come on. But other people, I don't think anyone else has had to curb what they do either. Like, I don't, I obviously don't make anyone uncomfortable. Like the only yeah, no. noticeable difference was like people stop saying fag in right. their blogs, but that's just because of the times. That's not because of me. Right. Yeah. 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 Cause that, that's, and that, that was also just like an interesting thing too. Cause like I was saying, like. Back in the day, and what I was talking about before, where you were talking about, like, oh, I didn't know until, like, my senior year of college, and you were like, well, I, I noticed that I was watching the guy, and then I was, like, watching gay porn, and then I was like, okay, I don't know why I did this. <laughs> I was like, you're yeah. watching gay porn. Um, but it's just, like, it's interesting, because if you try to put yourself in that frame of mind of being, like, you have, you are not sure. Wait, my frame of mind of being gay? Of being like, you don't know, but you don't know if you're gay. So you're trying to figure it out. And you're like, oh, well, I'm watching porn. And then you notice like, oh, wait, I'm only watching the guy. And then it's like, oh, wait, I'm whatever. And you kind of have to just like make I, that decision. I, I 100% need a penis in my porn. I recognize you guys by, yeah. solely by dicks in porn. I, I, That's hot. I don't watch. James Dean? I don't watch I lesbian porn. No, no. Yeah, I can't. I'm not coming to that. Uh-uh. I need somebody to come on somebody. Yeah. I need to see this dick. Do you time it? Yeah, I've synced up cums. Yeah, I synced up, I, synced up cums. I tried it. Yeah, I've synced up my cum. I usually always times. skip the blowjob part, though. It's very boring. That's Blowjobs fun. are like, come on, dude. Get yeah. up in this butt. Get up in this vagina. Maybe a little in S. vagina. Maybe a little, you know, face F. A face, face F? Are hot. Face you like a skull bit, fuck. I like spit stuff. What are you talking about? Like spit in my mouth? Yeah. I've it's never hot. done that. You think that's hot? Oh, I think yeah. it's just spit gross. Spit in my mouth? Oh, Fucking. Let's go now. <laughs> Like, like, but I'll, I'll eat I'll a girl's ass, but I won't let her spit in my mouth. No, yo, no, yo, no, no, no. You spit in their mouth. Yeah. You don't receive the spit. You spit. No, I'll take it. Will you? Yeah. I'll fuck. Oh, I haven't done that. I'll do it. Okay. You'll eat her butt, though. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'll 100% eat her butt. Eat a butt. I'll definitely I don't eat her butt. care about that. I got to show you a picture from my, my, my AIDS test yesterday. What does that mean? <laughs> It, it asked it? if you had eaten ass. He's like, yeah. eating the doctor's butt. You can, get AIDS, you can get AIDS uh, from eating ass? No. no Wait, you can can't. you? This is what was on the wall at my thing. Ass play can. Sp- Whoa. First of all, on the tongue, that's the doctor's it says, office. It says Cardi <laughs> that's a, B. That's, it that's says how you know you're at a gay doctor. It just says Cardi B. <laughs> Someone wrote Cardi B on the tongue, and there's like a, a tongue emoji next to like a peach emoji, and it says ass play can spread diarrheal. Infections. Diarrheal. So you can get riri among eat... among gay men and other men who have sex with men. That is weird terminology. terminology. Wait, yeah, so if I, I like eat that. a girl's butt, no, it says I, I, I will get your friend diarrhea. Wait, is this like just a straight up gay doctor? The Chelsea Health Clinic. Yeah. Oh, I, I went I there. Jesse, I sent Jesse I there. I said just straight up. Yeah. Can no, I, because like, it's, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a health, it's like uh, where you go get tested and shit. It's yeah. not like a doctor. But like, if they have doctors, it's No, but I'm saying because clinic. this is geared oh, yeah. strictly to, to gay men. The whole yeah. place yeah. is geared strictly toward, uh, not strictly, but mainly towards gay men. And I remember last year I had had sex with a girl um, who I, I didn't use a condom and she was definitely uh, kind of in these streets. And Pat and Za convinced me that I had AIDS. <laughs> it was a hooker. <laughs> and she was not, she was not a hooker. She just was kind of loose. And Pat's telling me, you should go get tested. You don't know what's going on. Like, uh, do you, are you feeling anything? Because I'm in the I'm mind. Like, Set. I'm like sweating thinking that I have like HIV or something so like that. And then protect. Zah, our little African friend, is like, Wayne Jetsky, you know, six of my uncles have, have time, HIV. Huh? I don't, I'm not realizing, yeah, because they live in fucking Zimbabwe where like that's very prevalent. Yeah. So I freaked out. I go into this clinic and I'm sitting there and I get called in. I'm like talking to the doctor and he sees me like visibly shaking and he's like, uh, What's wrong with you? And I was like, I think I have something. I think I might have HIV. And he's like, Are you gay? And I was like, No. He's like, Have you been doing heroin? And I was like, No. He's like, Who you've been having sex with? And I was like, Mainly white women. And he's like, You don't have AIDS. And I, was like, <laughs> I was like, You don't know that. And he, he was like, like yeah. He's like, Trust me, you're not gonna have it. But you, you might, but you're not gonna have it. And I was like, Just prick my fucking finger. And he pricked my finger, and I think it's two dots for mm-hmm. positive and one for negative. Yep. And I get, I see the one dot pull up, and I'm like, Oh my god, that second dot pulls up. I'm jumping out this window. But the second, yeah. no second dot came up, and I was good. Yeah. So it was beautiful. <sighs> Back out here eating butt. Back out here. How many times have you thought you had HIV? I have a habitual uh, problem of every time I've had like a sex without a condom with a girl. I think I have like yeah HIV every time, and I get tested, and I've never had it clearly. But uh, like really thought that I might have gotten something probably four times. Yeah, me neither. (coughs) You ever been burned? No, my penis has been relatively clean. I've never been burned either. Either of I and I don't know how I have it. There was one time that I thought I was like because it like burned when I peed. I was like, oh god, like what the fuck's going on? Or I originally I thought like I have a UTI, which I've I had in high school because I was like I didn't wash like my fucking pants for football or some shit. Yeah. So like I knew how that felt. So I was like, I was like, damn, that kind of hurt. No, I didn't have that. So then I, I eh, everybody's I, got that. Everyone's <laughs> got human papilloma. Baby. Yeah, I, I know that I don't, which is crazy. But like anyway, so I I it like burned. So I was like, what the fuck is going on? So I went to the doctor, and I I thought I had a UTI. So I was like, okay. So I'm going there, 
And then they tested my pee and they're like, oh, you don't have that. And I was like, oh, what? You thought you had a disease. Yeah, because I was like, what the fuck? Because at that point, I was like, wait, what the fuck? So then he's like, do you want to do a blood test? I was like, yeah. I'll like fucking run it. Right. And then, Suck me. And then uh, <laughs> afterwards, it just like went away. And then they were like, oh, it came, all of it came back negative. And I was like, oh, all right. Like, I didn't know what the fuck it was. Probably like, just it was had weird. A, a grapefruit for breakfast. Or probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just like, I got like soap in the tip of my dick or something. <laughs> there you go, sir. This is soap. There's yeah. nothing worse than when soap gets in your penis. Sure. Oh. Or shampoo when you run out of soap and you wash yourself with shampoo. That's when it always happens. Yeah, yeah. It burns, burns my shampoo pee hole. Shampoo in the cocky hole. Yeah, yeah it's no good. Did yeah, you say no. the cocky hole? The cocky hole. <laughs> yeah. You eat, you eat butt? Mm -hmm. I think you have to. <laughs> yeah, of course. What? You, can't, you can't just go throw it in Next there. Next question. Dry. Yeah, right? Well, no. actually, we do have questions that we usually do before we uh, wrap up. Um, do some spit stuff. It's great. Some spit stuff with yeah. in the butt? Spit in my mouth. Oh, spit everywhere. Oh, in the mouth? Okay. Spit in my Yo, mouth spit, right now. Spit everywhere. It's fantastic. You'll what do you mean everywhere? It's fantastic. You Buttholes, mouths, face. I've definitely spit in a butt. I just, I, I just have never yeah. spit in a mouth or received spit in my mouth. I, don't, I just don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, you got to try it, man. All right, here we go. Don't pressure anyone. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, it, this guy's fuck. It's yeah. fuck. <laughs> We're ten times the people I've had sex with. We got sitting, That's sitting. an estimate, by the way. Thank That's you so a fucking yeah. estimate. I'm I running back in my head right now what the fucking promo for this episode is going to be. Will Chamberlain on our podcast. Thank you so much for coming on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till this podcast is 14 minutes long. It's going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> down. Pat goes. Do you guys edit anything out before you do this? <laughs> in two days, he's going to be like, "Can we edit out uh, that whole thing?" First actually, question. let's just no. do it over again. Um, fucking cocks, man. First question: What's the worst job you ever had? Mm, worst job I ever had was working at a UPS store in the Village Plaza in Franklin, Massachusetts. Hated my boss. Got paid seven twenty-five an hour. Mm. Absolute worst job. Definitely wasn't the ice rink. No, my God, the rink was the fucking best job I ever had. <laughs> rink is like right up there with Barstool. That was so much fun. Yeah, it was the best. You just drove the Zamboni. I drove the Boney. I worked you. alone, so I'd have my buddies come up. We drank. Shut it down after work. Drive around shit faced on the Zamboni. That's towing pretty sweet. E Did you skate towing each other on the ice. Skate whenever we wanted. It was That's a blast. That's pretty dope. Also suck. Blast. Also suck. I, I'd suck while I was there. I'd get <laughs> suck. <laughs> I suck. Do a little pound. Oh, you pounded in there? I pounded at the rink. Well. On the ice? Oh, no, you know what? Oh, not a nice that's, pound. That's, that's, that's a, a dangerous nice pound. pound. Pounding on skates would have been elite. We did it. No, we didn't do a skate pound. No skate pound. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, what was your worst job? Probably the job I had before bar. So not so much that the job was terrible. I was just in a terrible frame of mind when I was working on this after school program. It was a bunch of some of the kids were nice. It was a bunch of shitty like snot nosed kids running around. I was just teaching them how to do long division, and I was wishing that I was at bar school. And then when I finally got the call, it kind of quelled all that. But that was probably the worst one. Nice. All right. All right. The sheets that are currently on your bed. How long have they been there? Like washed? No. No. When was the last time you washed? When's the last them? time you washed them? Like how long have they been there? No. Oh. A while. <laughs> <laughs> Probably like, well, we had winter break. What does that mean? Well, I guess Barst was kind of on a college schedule. We got like two weeks off for Christmas. Psh, I wish. So I didn't watch then. Probably like five weeks. I think I had Christmas off. I was right back in here. It's 26. <laughs> See that? That Does, week you better really appreciate him. No, no, no. I was here. Oh, we were here, baby. We were here on Monday and then, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We weren't. No, we were not here Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But yeah, uh, the sheets, though? I think I'm like... Tuesday was Christmas Eve. I think I'm over five weeks, but under two months, probably around like six or seven weeks. Is I'm that probably bad? like No, two, I like these answers. Easy. They're real. Because, yeah, because Everyone's usually we shit. ask everyone these questions. And some people are like, oh, I just I just changed them yesterday. Or like I last week, I, I did never it. changed my sheets. Yeah. <laughs> I don't... Oh, yeah, right yeah, now, I don't even have a sheet on my bed. I have, I have, an old, <laughs> I have, I have an old comforter. Oh, I love it. And then I have, uh, shout out to Buffy, a Buffy blanket on top of that. So I literally have a blanket, and then I'm sleeping. Oh, with you got blanket. bare mat. I also sleep bare on mat. top oh, of my comforter. Like, yeah. I don't sleep underneath my sheets. Or I sweat like a fucking, I don't know. In, you know what I night, fucking so. hate? The fucking under sheet. You don't need it. I get. No. I don't use that. Just just put about? a blanket just on like, there. You have like your bed sheet, then you have a sheet, it, it, and then the blanket. Oh, yeah, you gotta have. Sheet, you gotta the have the top no, sheet. No, 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 no. You guys don't do top. No, no I don't. Just give me the blanket. Yeah. Just blanket. Because oh, I like to tuck the top sheet underneath. That way, the feetsies don't get cold. Oh, that's gay. That's. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, do. I hate those. I hate no, I can't. Those. I can't because I can't. Like, yo, putting a blanket on a bed is is like difficult, and then having to do it again with a sheet is just terrible. I can't. And I hate things that you gotta physically tuck. Yep. Oh, oh. I love a tuck. No, I, I can't, can't put a sheet on a bed to save tuck my, my fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> I love tuck a my, tuck. Tuck my cock between my legs. Oh my god. I love John Tucker. Uh, um. Wait. All right. No one's been able to do He's this. Kicker. <laughs> That's Justin Tucker. John Tucker is from that movie. Oh. Anyway, uh, <laughs> no, no, one, no one's been able to do this. Uh, no, one, no one has been able to do this on our show. But you guys can collaborate if you want. Sick. Name, do, you, do you want to collaborate or you want well, to go one do, for can one? We get can we hear the question first? first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Name five Kid Rock songs. All right, we can. <laughs> Cla- I think we have to do it silently. Yes. Like people are going to hear it's us. It's like Family We're Feud on. and they're like. All right, what's the one? Ba with a ba is the, is the most famous. That counts? Everybody gets yeah. Ba with a ba. What's it's called that? American Badass? Yes. Like, what's the one with Cheryl Crow? Uh, uh, picture or photograph? Yep. Picture. We're doing okay. We need two. You more. got three. That's three. Yodel in the Valley, because that was when he was a, a rapper before he got became Kid Rock. Oh, I mean, I, I, look I, it I, up! I believe look you. Look it up. <laughs> and what's the fourth? Uh, it, it was either called Yodel, uh, Yodel in the Valley or Cottonmouth. The album was called. We got four. We got four. Okay. We so got Yodel four. in the one? Valley is a real one. Oh, fuck. He did something with. Oh, Run there's DMC, still a very obvious Rev one Run, rather. that usually people say. So you guys could be the first. You guys, there's one of the easy. What's that's that's Bob Bob. Bob. Okay. What the fuck is You got four. You got so what, four. what ones do we have again? We have Bob with You have Picture. You have uh, Bob with the Ba, American Badass, and then Yodel, Yodel in, in the Valley. valley. <laughs> Which I, is it's, that? All, it's all about eating vagina when he was a rapper. Because before he was a he was Dude, Kid Rock, yeah. he was signed to yeah, the There's fucking... two huge ones. Yeah. Kid, come on, Jesse. You're the music guy. Figure this I out. I know, but oh, fuck. There, someone said something about Run DMC. That he does have a big one with Run DMC. What the fuck was it? Oh. Damn, dude! If you guys can't get this, it's so cl- you're gonna be so mad. Give at us yourself. a hint. No, I can't. No I hints. Can't. No hints. Yeah, hints. Tiny. If you had two, I would give you a hint. You guys got four. We're holding on to this kid rock question. Fuck! Just, just think. Just think. Mm-hmm. These mm-hmm. three, you figure people. Would can know. you hum it? No, <laughs> no, I can't. Either. You guys got four. You guys are here. What was what was the song on DMC? Oh. What's like a big one? I'm thinking like, oh, Sweet Home Alabama. Nope. That's need to, or no, uh, what's, what was the one? Oh, All Summer Long. Nice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Let's get this money. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All Summer Long, yeah. Champion, First successful baby. people. Wow. It's harder than you yeah, think. It's fucking yeah. impossible. <laughs> Bro, without you on the valley. Yeah, that's, yeah. Right. that's like, that was great. Yeah. I don't know how we got that. Uh, that I watched teamwork. his like, VH1 uh, like behind the music. And yeah. That. yeah. But the other one is Cowboy. Oh, uh, Cowboy. Yeah. I want, and then the other one was uh, All Summer Long and then like... Um, only God knows why that song he made for his like little like small friend that died, yeah. JC. Oh, I forgot about yeah. that guy. We're, <laughs> we're gonna have to make his song with Zaza. <laughs> who was on the guys. who was on the show that like guessed and was just like I don't know. There's got to be a song like like uh, Redneck Paradise or something. We're like, yeah, that's a song. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't know. It's like song. Redneck Vacation. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's crazy. All right, good for you guys. Yeah, I'm so happy that they got that. Yeah, though. finally. I'm pretty happy too. That's yeah. great. People usually go, all right, ball with the ball. And then they do the same thing you do. It's like, my name is Kid. What song is that? We're like, that's Spot with the Bob. <laughs> Get the pit and try got it. So what do we win? Um, Absolutely nothing. <laughs> nothing. Uh, who do people tell you you look like? There's a picture for a baseball team. They have blue jerseys, white with blue hats, tall pitcher. Fuck. Uh, I can't remember his name. The Royals, Royals Dodgers. maybe Dodgers. <laughs> you, you Darvish. You I've been first. getting Joe yeah. Burrow a lot lately. I'll take my hat off. To... Joe Burrow. Yeah. Yeah. I could see that. My hair's a little fucked up. Yeah, but yeah, I've been yeah. Joe Burrow a little bit. Is okay. that your natural hair color? Yeah. Good I got Tony you. Hawk a few times. I could see Tony Hawk a little <laughs> okay. bit. Okay. I think because I got the beak. Yeah. Did you run with it? Nah, you were like, I yo, I man, die. I hit that 900. Yeah. I, I say I'm Tony Hawk. Yeah. Fuck it. I'm gonna die on the vine. Um. Die on the vine. What's something you have to do every day? Like not poop or pee pee, or any of that like <laughs> right. normal stuff. Or any uh, crank. I mean, unless it, that. No, is unless it. you have to crank every day. Yeah. I mean, by all means. Oh, there's days it. I don't crank. Yeah. You go first, Jesse. I have to do every day. I'm not gonna say crank, but even though I do, definitely crank every day. <laughs> um, I'm. This is gonna sound like a oh, typical like weed smoker. I do smoke weed every day, and I think it's because it like helps me focus more than anything. So I would say smoke weed. Yeah. Smoke weed I agree. Sick. I fucking, you know, blow I, 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 I'm not going to go back To what Pat said But I agree with you Do what you got to do You know I feel you Do you smoke weed? No I don't I'm sober shit Oh that's right I forgot you're sober 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 One thing I do every day Like you're like Oh man I have to have coffee Or I have to 
I think it's these answers are oh, all have to be something. Like I mean, in the this is like really weird. Something in the fucking morning. I mean, I have to wash my hands before I go to bed. I don't know if that counts. Yeah, that's, no, like, yeah, that's, that's strange. That's like Every a day. weird like thing. Yeah, like, that's I can't get thing. into bed. If like I get into bed, I lay on my stomach, I put my hands up, and they're not clean. I like just like fucks with my head. I went through a phase where I had to constantly wipe my feet before I got in bed because I saw Mackay Pfeiffer do it in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, I, like really? like I would wipe my feet before I got in bed because I didn't want to bring like any floor crumbs in the bed. That makes sense. I like being very clean when I get into bed. Yeah. Wait, so what if you what think. if you take a shower at like seven o'clock, but you don't get into bed until like eleven? Will you wash oh, your hands? I'm scrubbing. Really? Always. That's yeah. weird. I'm gonna change mine though, actually, because I have to. I can't leave <laughs> my house in the morning and uh, without taking a shit. Like it's the I have never since, since. Well, we I've said been, no poop or pee pee. Oh, we said no poop or pee pee. Right, but that, that that's an, that's a that's a different thing though. I, I shit like, every day before I come here. Yeah, but he's saying it in a way of like I can't leave my house unless I do I, it. I, I get oh like no, anxiety. see, I, could, like, I, I can't. Yeah, I can leave the house. I don't think I have shit. since like I can take my school. shit on the road. Oh, I don't do that. You pack it up. Yeah. Pack it up. Take my stuff on the road. Swallow it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swallow fucking good. Um. Which celebrity do you want to punch in the face? James Charles. <laughs> Ooh, spicy, bad. spicy, spicy. Bad, right? Okay, battle. Why? He's just a. I think he's a weirdo. I don't like him. Okay. I think he's a predator. I think he's a sexual predator, and I think he uses his fame to sexually manipulate people. Whoa. Which is something that is getting really yeah. deep. Which is something that does, and I also think he. He queer baits and he trans baits and he'll put up pictures of himself as a woman online, not because he feels that way, because he is trying to get likes and get clicks. Shots. I fucking hate James Charles, but he's a multi multi millionaire and he has like sixteen million followers. Yeah, yeah, which is nothing to be shots, like hating. Gay shots fired. Yeah, gay shots fired. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's a little too real. Fired. You go, this was a joke. No, 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 no. no, no. I, like, yeah. I, I, I do listen. not like James Charles. I, I want like all the smoke. All. I have no problem with smoke. Yeah. Young Sheldon. So I say. Yeah, right. <laughs> I want to punch young Sheldon. <laughs> Who do you got? Um, this is not like, it's a little bit of a low level celebrity. And I don't know if I actually ever like publicly had this out. But uh, I tried to buy a feature off a rapper like last year. This guy, 24 hours. He's made in Tokyo's older brother, the guy, okay. the Uber Everywhere guy. And I yeah. paid him $1,000 and he just never sent the song. Wow. Uh, he sent me a snippet of him, like of the verse. Uh, and then, just, Scum, and then scummed just, just scummed me. So if I see him, I would love to punch his fat we ass. We should find him. Yeah. That's who we can. He's a little fucking. fucking he's a fat fucking noodle. He's like best friend of Ty Dolla Sign, which makes it so he mad. Live? Uh, probably in L.A. And the song sounded fire when he sent me the snippet, and then he just never sent me the song. And I fucking, I it wasn't even all my money. All my buddies like helped me pitch in a thousand dollars because I was hurting really bad in my pockets at the time to get the song. So I would love to punch him in the face. Well, got it, got it, got it. I love that. That was the first real yeah. smoke that we've had on the show. Some real yeah, smoke. no, it's on yeah. site with with him. <laughs> it's on, it's on sight. I'm getting all my goons from Islip coming at you. Yeah, that's Islip. It. Sup? I'm a which, math which, kid. Which jet- <laughs> they growing up now. <laughs> which jet ski is showing up? White jet ski or drunk black jet ski? Drunk black jet ski. Drunk black jet ski. <laughs> um, I, hey, listen, I do it too. I'm not. I'm not saying that. I got my. I got. I got a black voice. Uh, <laughs> rate yourself one to ten. In terms of like, everything, all light. encompassing. Yeah. I need decimals. Oh, and you guys are barstool guys, so no rookie numbers. I'm a. Uh, I'm probably a 6'4". Okay. Is that your height? Is that your height? Is that not what you... <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you guys do it? No, I'm a 6'4". I'm a okay. 6.4. Realistically, I underachieve. I could do better in most aspects if I tried harder. Wow. So that's a 6'4". I like that. That's so I'm, just being, I'm just being real with you. I'm gonna be like I'm an eleven. Ooh. Yeah, Jetsy's going straight. Jetsy's going high. No, I, I was gonna say seven point two. I think there's I'm excelling in certain areas, but there's other areas like my time management that I could definitely improve on. Yeah, it's true. So, what are you a seven what? Seven one. You should make your guests rate each other. Pat, well, it's, some, usually, it's one. usually one. We just uh, like making people. We like, jet, and like we like jet ski. Think about it. So we were like, we want jet ski on. You know. Also, everyone usually either says uh, you. Usually, people will say seven if they think they're hotter. But they won't want to look a certain way. What do you mean? Oh, if they, like, so they if you think ask, they're hotter than a seven. So oh, are we reading just our seven. looks? And they'll do that? a modest everything. everything together. All encompassing. Looks? Yeah. So if like we'll ask like a girl, we'll All be like, like how, how, like what do you think you are? And if you ask them that and they say something like seven this, they think they're hotter, but they don't want to seem pretentious. So I might, like, oh. Can I change? I might be a six, seven. All right, that's fine. You <laughs> change it like, three <laughs> decimal points? I love no, that. No, no, no. I'll be just this, a little. I'm not a seven. But I'm like a 6.7, like approaching good, right. but not 
Huh. There was an app that used to uh, <laughs> huh. circulate around. Huh. It was like girls could date guys in, in my college, and it was based on like manners. Cock size. Not co- yes, in, in inadvertently. It was manners, uh, skills in bed, looks, and game. I don't remember what it was called. I think it was called like Lulu or something like that. And that was an eight point. Eight, eight out of ten on that. I was really happy about that at the time. Wait, but what were they? It was, it was like girls in your area could rate the guys around you. So like you didn't, wouldn't make a profile that. I never made a profile, but I had one because like the girls in my area, in my college, like were rating me. Yeah. And I got, rated uh, I got like an eight point six or something like that. It was great. Whoa. You my man, my rates. manners were terrible though, so I had to work on that. <laughs> I got I got bad a nine manners? out of ten. I got a nine out of ten in, in bed. Though. Like a child, bad manners. All right. Uh, what game show would you have the best chance on? Who wants to be? Oh no! What's the one with Steve Harvey where they put up the Family, family feud? feud? Family Feud, yeah. You, you trust your family? Yeah, for sure. Family Feud would be good. My mom would crush. Phyllis would crush. I think I would do good on guts. Ooh! Wow! Yeah, yeah nobody said that. Back. Gladiator. Remember Gladiator? I nope. do. Remember American Gladiator. Gladiators. Back to the leaderboard. Oh, MXC. That, that's remember the one they used to, they, they to dub it over. Wait, what is Gee? that? Oh, is that the, oh, yeah. the, 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 the Japanese one that they would dub over? I, yeah, oh, so oh funny. my god, they had the most creative things in the world on that show. Was that the one where they had to like f- like fit through walls? It was basically shit? Wipeout, no. but in the nineties, and they yeah. dubbed right, it over. Yeah. Yeah. People oh. actually got hurt. Yeah, yeah, but they had the most creative sinkers things and floaters. You would just run across pieces of plywood in a swamp, and then they'd just take one away, and you'd just drown. <laughs> <laughs> what a great shot. I forgot about that show. I'm going to YouTube that shit tonight. Yeah. Uh, last question. Are you happy today? Yes. Rarely. It's rare that I'm happy. <laughs> today, I'm ha- today I'm happy. That's today good. I'm happy. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I would say I'm also happy today. Mm. I wasn't in the morning. I had, I had, a, I had a rough morning, but yeah. now, now we're happy. Took a little nap on the way here. Took a little nap in the car yeah. on the way here. How, how'd you know? You took a picture of me? I did, yeah. Uh, Damn. No, no, no. <laughs> I, nap, I napped on the way here, too. Oh, all right. I, 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 got, woken, him I got woken up today. Oh, uh-huh. by the driver? I had a couple certs. Did you, did you pull it? No, no, no. You Uber like, here I, every day? Every day. Psycho. How much, Dude, is, how much is that racking you up? I would say, what, on average, it's what, tw- like $20? Yeah, no. What? Like thirty? What yeah, the but so, fuck? Sometimes you. Three, sometimes let's, say, cool. let's, let's say twenty-seven. Five, let's say three hundred. I'd say three hundred fifty. Twenty-seven on average. Yeah. If I go to let's let's go to Lyft right now. Let's just go to twenty-five. Yeah, twenty-five safe. Twenty-five so each way though, right? Yeah. Yeah. So fifty dollars a day, right? It cost me thirty-five dollars to get here today. So f- let's say fifty dollars a day, five days a week. Yep. That's two hundred fifty dollars times fifty-two weeks out of the year. That's thirteen grand. What the <laughs> fuck, bro? Can That's we calculate what it would be if it was like a what's a monthly metro card? Like a hundred and twenty dollars. Oh, let's just let's just say it's a hundred and fifty, and it's fucking not. Let's just say that it would be eighteen hundred dollars. So he would have basically like what are you 10 doing? Grand. <laughs> what are you? You doing? have another Rolex, dude. You can wear two. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can wear eight. Yeah, this is two years, so you could have that. Is more. irresponsible as fuck. Yeah. It's also pretty baller. It is yeah, pretty baller. Yeah, you know that's worth I mean? it. That's worth Fuck it. Fuck the rollie. I'm getting in this just, lift. Yeah, dude. I'm going to be able to fly to fucking China on fucking lift points. Like, I'm going to be ready to go. Lift points. I'm going to get fucking Delta fucking points out the ass, dude. Oh, God. It's worth it. That is insane. embarrassing. 13 grand, dude. That's incredibly embarrassing. There's nothing more baller than showing up to work in a car, though. Yes. But you, you know what that means? The door? That's $26,000 that you've just been like, I'm good. Talk to me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> We need to get in on some of this fucking money, man. <laughs> right? yeah. If anything, oh. that it, it's embarrassing, but it's also just a hard flex. It is hard flex. It's an irresponsible really flex. Not, yeah, but it's really not. You know, I was happy earlier today. I'm not happy today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably not. But thank you guys for coming on. It's been fun. It's yeah. been, it's been thank fucking Thanks, dudes. It's, Where can everybody find you guys? Yeah. Across find me world. on Barstool. It's at Barstool Pat on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, I'm Wayne Jetski on Twitter with two I's and two underscores between Wayne and Jetski on uh, Twitter. Where can they find the music? Uh, the music is on Apple Music, Spotify, under Wayne Jetski. Uh, SoundCloud as well, but I'm focusing on the Apple Music, Spotify because it's paying me a little bit. So Yeah, SoundCloud's kind of out right yeah, now. Yeah, and out. Barstool Breakfast, at Barstool Breakfast, Twitter and Instagram, obviously at Barstool Sports. What time is that show on? 7 to 9 a.m., Sirius XM, Channel 85. And you can hear us on there from time to time. That's yeah. true. We should, we should book something. We'll come. 100%. Yeah. Reciprocate. Yeah. Love it. Reciprocate. All right. You know Reciprocate. What I'm saying? All right. Reset. Exactly. Well. And that is all. See you guys next time. <laughs>